Chapter 2221 The Sea Demon Race's Goal At this time, the Sea Demon Race had initiated a beast tide, attacking the eastern, southern, western, and northern Xuan regions at the same time. Although the scale was not too big, it still caused panic on the continent. That was because all the geniuses of the continent were in seclusion right now to comprehend life and death. Many of the ancient sects had actuated their own life and death training areas to help their geniuses. This was a crucial moment. If their enemies advanced to the Nether Passage realm, then there was danger of them being wiped out. Although this was a critical time for the continent as well, no one dared to guarantee that others wouldn't attack them, even if they didn't fight openly. A secret sneak attack could also destroy a sect in the cultivation world. The only time that things had been just and fair was during the eras of the sovereigns. A sect that took great damage would no longer have any use to the continent, and even if they had been wronged, no one would speak up for them. As a result, even though the divine families had started to return to the continent for the upcoming battles in the Dark Era, everyone was still on guard, without power. They wouldn't even be qualified to suck up to the divine families. For the sea demon race to initiate a beast tide against the continent shocked and enraged the continent's experts. The sects of the Martial Heaven Alliance in particular were in trouble due to how widely they were spread, and requests for aid quickly escalated. As for Pill Valley, the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, and the Xuan beasts, they ignored the invasion of the sea demon race. They had no intention of helping. It was like they weren't even a part of the Martial Heaven continent, and this was of no concern to them. To use their words, this was Long Chen's fault, so he could handle it himself. Didn't he like playing the hero? Then he could keep playing the part. Boss, the sea demon race is targeting us. Let's slaughter them and show them the color of blood. Guo Ran came out, his armor repaired. In the last battle, he had noticed some flaws that he had fixed as well, improving his armor and making him itch for a fight. Long Chen shook his head. If we did, we would be falling for their trap. They don't want to let us cultivate. How vile. Long Chen looked at the letter in his hand. It was written by Li Xiangxuan and stated the goal of the sea demon race. Li Xiangxuan pointed out that the Dragonblood Legion's power had terrified the sea demon race, so they wished to disturb him. If the Dragonblood Legion was stalled for long enough, then once the supreme geniuses of the other powers advanced, their first target would definitely be the Dragonblood Legion. No one would be able to save them then. So Li Xiangxuan's advice was for Long Chen to pretend he didn't know about this matter and just focus on his cultivation. Li Xiangxuan also added that the Sea Demon race would not dare to make things too bad for fear that the outer branches of the Divine Families would interfere. If we ignore this, Pill Valley's mouths will have more ammunition against us, said Guo Ran hatefully. It'll also implicate many innocent lives. Most importantly, is the Dragonblood Legion a cowardly turtle? Gu Yang poked Guo Ran in the back hard. Wasn't he trying to get Long Chen into trouble now? Long Chen glanced at Guo Ran. This fellow was itching for a battle with his new armor. I'll handle this matter. There's no need for you to worry about it stated Long Chen. He, boss, I have no talent when it comes to cultivation. Why not let me accompany you? Let's not trouble the other brothers. They're working hard. Guo Ran wanted to go out with Long Chen and test his new armor. Just focus on cultivation. We're in a race against time. Others are trying to slow us down. So just leave it to me. Guo Ran, you have to focus the most. Your comprehension skills are the weakest of all of us. If you hold us back, don't blame me for using some extraordinary measures. At that time, you'll be crying for your mommy and daddy. So don't blame me if I don't give you face, warned Long Chen. All right, all right, boss, please just save me this little bit of face, grumbled Guo Ran. Long Chen truly understood him too well. Guo Ran and the others went back into seclusion to focus on consolidating their realm and comprehending life and death. The other sects had already opened life and death training areas for their disciples, but the Dragonblood Legion did not need that. Lu Ruian had received the Yun Yang Immortal Grass's power, and she was able to share her comprehension of life and death with everyone. Long Chen would also refine a few pills when the time came. 
The pill should allow everyone to comprehend life and death when combined with Luruian. He wasn't worried about this aspect for himself at all. He cultivated the nine-star hegemon body art, so he didn't need to comprehend anything. He could directly charge through to the nether passage realm. Long Chen went to the rear mountain forest where Meng Qi and the others were. They were sitting on a blanket beside a waterfall, their bare feet in the water. The blanket was large enough to also fit a small table with various fruit that had just been washed. Dong Mingaya was holding hands with Cloud, their small feet playing with the little fish swimming nearby. Their laughter rang out. The two of them were quite similar in size and figure. Cloud still appeared like a girl because she was a Xuan beast. While Dong Mingaya was also sometimes like a child when it came to her mindset because of losing her childhood, the two of them were able to play happily by the waterside. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Yi Zhikyu, and Lu Ruian were peacefully sitting together, quietly chatting. With the beautiful green mountain and clear water, their beauty made this place look like a wonderland. Big Brother Long Chen, what took you so long? We've been waiting for you forever Cloud ran over, holding her skirts. Long Chen laughed. You're right, I should be punished. Yes, first I'll be punished with some fruit. Nice try. As Long Chen laughingly reached for the fruit, Tang Wan'er slapped his hand away, in the end only giving him one tiny grape, that made everyone laugh. Long Chen sat with them, and Cloud generously picked out the biggest fruit for him, biting into the fruit. Long Chen said, you consolidated your realm so quickly. You're already able to control your auras. That's amazing. Meng Qi and the others already had very steady auras, meaning that they had consolidated their auras even faster than Gu Yang and the others. Big Sister's Hikyu is the fastest. She has also awakened her spirit blood and knows the name of her heaven soul manifestation, said Tang Wan'er proudly. Really Long Chen looked at Ji's Hikyu with surprise. Yes. My spirit blood was activated by the ice divine sword. I finally obtained her approval. Yi's Hikyu nodded. Although her face was still expressionless like an old well, there was a bit of excitement in her eyes. Excellent. Now we have another expert on the level of a divine daughter, exclaimed Long Chen. Long Chen, can we also activate our spirit blood? Asked Tang Wan'er. Of course. But because no supreme experts appeared amongst our ancestors, we don't have their bloodline to activate. Some people have amazing existences in their bloodlines that allow them to awaken their spirit blood sooner. Others will have to wait until they advance to the nether passage realm before awakening their spirit blood and connecting to their manifestation. That's why we should hurry up and advance. Those fellows with terrifying predecessors are already starting to awaken their spirit blood. But that advantage will vanish once we all enter the nether passage realm. They're relying on their ancestors, but we can only rely on ourselves, said Long Chen. With a powerful ancestor, they cultivated faster than ordinary people even if they were just slacking off. However, that was no excuse to be lazy. The only thing that you could do was put in twice the effort and pay twice the price to achieve a similar result. The Dragonblood Legion hadn't relied on anyone to grow. They had all put their lives on the line to reach their current height. How are you planning on handling the sea demons? Meng Qi handed a fruit she had peeled to Long Chen. Meng Qi and the others had heard news of the sea demon race, but they hadn't participated in the discussion. They wouldn't oppose whatever Long Chen decided, so they had just been waiting here. Long Chen received the fruit with a smile, biting into it. He said, the sea demon race's attack is not as simple as it appears. I will handle them and test their bottom line. I want to know just what they're thinking. So tomorrow, I'll bring Cloud and Ewer over to show them that Master Long is not as weak as they seem to think. Long Chen smiled sinisterly. He had already thought through how he would handle the Sea Demon race. Chapter 2222 Killing into the Eastern Sea on the Martial Heaven Continent, where the Eastern Xuan region met the sea. Countless Sea Demons were currently climbing onto the land. The sects in their path, who had received the warning had already fled. Those sects weren't strong enough, and they were isolated. No one had come to reinforce them. The shore within a million miles of the sea had been occupied by the sea demons. Countless human cities had been torn to the ground. Some areas still had some humans fighting back, buying time for some commoners who hadn't escaped yet. 
Those people were experts from the Martial Heaven Alliance. They were all members of the senior generation. The junior generation was all in seclusion. So they were unable to bring out too many people to face the beast tide. Dam Long Chen. Look at what he caused. All his showing off and provoking of the sea demon race resulted in us suffering. And he just hides like a turtle. How does anyone call him a hero? We're losing our lives because of him. Roared someone amongst the fleeing crowd. That's right. The sea demon race used to just stay within the sea. It's Long Chen who has ruined the peace of the continent. We're forced to leave our homes while he just focuses on getting stronger. No one with a conscience would do such a thing. Shouted someone in the crowd. Shut up, you fools. If you keep trying to fan the flames, we'll toss you to the sea demons. Shouted one of the Life Star Elders of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Within the crowd, a few people were constantly trying to incite hatred against Long Chen. Although the higher-ups had warned them that Pill Valley's dissidents would most likely be mixed in and cause trouble, they didn't expect just how enraging these people were. Due to their encouragement, some other people who were filled with resentment after leaving their homes were also shouting along, as if this was all Long Chen's fault. What? Are you saying Long Chen didn't do anything wrong? We were living happily, and now we're forced to leave our homes. It's all caused by Long Chen. Why shouldn't we be able to say it? Exactly. It's the damn Martial Heaven Alliance. You have the responsibility to save us, and you have to give us compensation. Do you think it's right for you to shout at us when it's your fault? Bastards. That Life Star Elder lost his temper and grabbed the shouter. That person immediately sneered. What? Are we not allowed to criticize your mistakes? Are you going to silence people by killing them? That person waved his hand and the two of them were separated. The Life Star Elder was shocked and enraged. He pointed at that person. You're not a disciple. You're a fake. This person had disguised himself as a disciple of a small sect with a cultivation base only at the Soul Transformation Realm. But that one exchange had revealed his true cultivation base. HMPH. If you want to make stuff up, why stop there? Why not just say that I'm Tianzizi? Sneered that person. Suddenly, the sky rumbled and a giant figure flew through the air, leaving a five-colored streak of divine light. A powerful pressure appeared and made people's hearts tremble. A cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. It's Long Chen. He came. The Martial Heaven Alliance's people were dumbfounded. Wasn't it said that Long Chen wouldn't be coming? Cloud folded her wings and suddenly dived down. Opening her mouth, a giant whirlpool appeared and the sea demons on the land were sucked into her mouth. The intense battle instantly ended as these sea demons weren't all that powerful. As Li Xiangxuan said, the sea demon race didn't really intend to invade the continent. They were just trying to force Long Chen to show up. When Long Chen appeared, those people causing trouble shut their mouths, doing their best to conceal their fear. Long Chen looked over at the crowd. He suddenly raised his finger and pointed at someone. No. That person hastily turned to flee. It wasn't just him. Dozens of people suddenly fled in different directions, and they no longer bothered concealing their cultivation basis. They were actually all Empyreans. With one pointing of his finger, Long Chen blew those experts into bloody mist. They were all dead. The rest of the crowd stared in shock. They seemed to understand something, and they turned pale, especially those people who had joined in cursing Long Chen. Long Chen. Why have you come? They've achieved their goal by drawing you out and making sure you can't cultivate said one elder. I know. It's fine. Long Chen waved his hand and shot off with Cloud once more, going straight to the Eastern Sea. Seeing Long Chen leave, the elder who had been enraged smashed one of the sea demon corpses furiously and cursed the people who had been shouting along. You bastards. I really want to turn you into mincemeat. Those were Pill Valley's people sent to cause trouble and apply pressure to Long Chen. You idiots don't even have brains, and you just shout along with what others say. Do you realize that without Long Chen the Martial Heaven Alliance would be in even greater danger? If the Martial Heaven Alliance collapses, you idiots would die to the corrupt path in an instant. They'd use your blood and souls to upgrade their weapons. Now, are you satisfied? Long Chen actually was it is time to come here. If it weren't for the orders from higher up, we'd have long since left you idiots to die to the sea demons. 
another one of the elders came up to hold back that enraged elder. It looked like the latter was about to start killing. That's enough. Anger is useless. I'll bring them away. And you can go report this to the Alliance head. She has to know about this. Long Chen didn't care about those people who had been cursing him. In the end, he only had one thought. He wasn't a sovereign. And so he wasn't able to make everyone respect him. He could allow others to have different views of him. He could permit others to have different methods of doing things. As long as they didn't harm him, he could accept it all. But the people intentionally inciting trouble were hateful. So he had just conveniently wiped them out. Cloud sped on. Occasionally, she would unleash a wave of light that blasted apart the sea demons on the land. A powerful stench filled their noses. These sea demons are really smelly, said Dong Mingyu holding her nose. They're born smelly, but after roasting them, the majority of them are quite delicious. Long Chen smiled. Big brother Long Chen, are you really planning on challenging the sea demon race on your own? According to what I know, they're very powerful. They have their own sea god that they worship. There's a secret beneath the sea that causes the entire world to shake. The Blood Kill Hall has sternly forbidden its people from becoming enemies with the sea demon race, said Dong Mingyu. Despite that, she still looked at Long Chen with a touch of worship. In her view, Long Chen was the bravest, most fearless person in the world. On my own? No, aren't we three people? Said Long Chen with a smile. At this time, Cloud had reached the Eastern Sea. Through the sea, it was possible to see the giant sea demon army climbing onto the shore. Seeing this, Long Chen threw a giant lightning spear into the sea. Huge waves exploded, and countless corpses floated onto the surface, electrocuted. Did they think sending a bunch of shrimp would be enough to force me out? Well, they succeeded Long Chen continued through the path of the sea demons, unleashing more lightning to kill them. He finally saw a mass of stronger sea demons. These sea demons were at the 11th rank, and although they were stronger than the shrimp, they were still annihilated instantly. Long Chen gathered their corpses and tossed them into the primal chaos space to nourish the withered world trees. This should be a gathering place for the sea demon race. If we keep killing, their real experts should start showing up. Long Chen saw more and more sea demons rushing over. So he stopped moving. He just waited for the sea demons to send themselves to him. The sea within thousands of miles quickly became the color of blood. Brazen human race. You dare a powerful 12th rank sea demon leaked out of the water, only to be blown apart by Long Chen's fist before it could finish speaking. You dare to shout in front of Master Long. Long Chen had originally thought that this sea demon would have some ability, but it was unable to receive even a single blow from him. Such a weakling was not qualified to speak with him. More 12th rank sea demons began to appear. They were as big as mountains and shot out of the sea, creating huge waves. With so many sea demons, Cloud was no longer able to handle them all by herself. Dong Mingyu wanted to take action, but Long Chen didn't allow it. Instead, he unleashed lightning spears, annihilating the sea demons. Twelfth rank sea demons were equivalent to the human race's nether passage experts. The strongest sea demons coming were only at the mid-twelfth rank, about as strong as the second step nether passage experts. Their bloodlines weren't pure. So their combat power was only ordinary. Even against ordinary human nether passage experts, they wouldn't be a match. This was about what Long Chen had expected. The sea demon race's true geniuses were in seclusion in the depths of the sea Novaloon.com after the Qi flow eruption. A portion of the Qi flow was absorbed by the martial heaven sea ring. Hence, the sea demon race would get an extra chance to absorb the Qi flow. And that was what they were doing. So just like the continent, the sea's true experts were in seclusion. They were only sending out the useless ones. Although there were many of these sea demons, they were unable to threaten Long Chen. He continued to kill them. He refused to believe the sea demon race would allow all of them to die. Suddenly, the surface of the sea exploded and a giant six-horned sea serpent appeared. A powerful bloodline pressure appeared. Long Chen, you went too far. That six-horned sea serpent transformed into a long-haired man holding a bone trident. Upon staring at Long Chen, 
flames almost burst out of his eyes. Chapter 2223 Old Monster From the depths of the sea he was precisely the six-horned sea serpent man that had fought against Long Chen in front of the yin-yang world. He was extremely powerful, but because he was suppressed by the pressure of Long Chen's dragon blood, he wasn't a match for Long Chen. In the end, Wild had ripped off one of his horns. That horn was connected to his divine abilities. Wild said that the flavor wasn't very good, but it was full of energy. He wasn't willing to eat it all just yet. He was holding on to it and would only occasionally take a few bites. The six-horned sea serpent glared at Long Chen, his eyes red. With a furious roar, his bone trident slammed toward Long Chen. Following his movements, the martial heaven sea ring began to rise, as if the entire sea was boiling over. His manifestation of the sea ring appeared as well. You dare to come to my territory and act wild. I'll make sure you're buried beneath the martial heaven sea ring today. I want to ask you, does your face not hurt when you say such things? Long Chen summoned Evil Moon and his divine ring. Six stars appeared in his eyes, although one was still dim. At the same time, a majestic dragon cry resounded through the air. He summoned the Azure Dragon battle armor right off the bat. He couldn't hold back against this opponent. Boom. Evil Moon and the Bone Trident smashed into each other, causing huge waves to explode. So that's the case. Within the Martial Heaven Sea Ring, your manifestation is able to unleash more power. Long Chen swung out his slightly numb hand. HMPH. Not only am I able to use more power, but here a portion of your dragon pressure is blocked by the sea. Don't even think of suppressing me. Today. I'll defeat you in an open battle and show the continent just who the real ruler of this world is. The six-horned sea serpent man sneered. His bone trident rumbled along with his manifestation. Light gathered within his trident, and the sound of a sea roaring appeared within it. I'll show you the sea demon race's peerless technique. Angry sea tsunami. The entire sea seemed to link to his bone trident. It was as if his attack contained the power of the entire martial heaven sea ring. Holding his saber with both hands, Long Chen's white scales suddenly turned half black. He began using Evil Moon's power, and a sinister air erupted. Evil Moon's energy merged with Long Chen's dragon blood, forming a special aura. The true dragon was noble and majestic. The evil dragon was fierce and sinister. When their powers combined, Long Chen's hair danced in the wind. He raised his saber and slashed it down. Boom. It was like two stars had collided. The sea raged, with water soaring into the sky. Cloud and Dong Mingaya retreated from the battlefield, watching from a distance. Long Chen had told them not to interfere in this battle. Long Chen repeatedly attacked. His arms were growing numb, and he almost lost hold of Evil Moon. Here, the six-horned sea serpent man was able to unleash greater power, but Long Chen also saw that blood was leaking out of his opponent's palm as well meaning he wasn't any better off than Long Chen. You only have this little bit of power? If that's the case, you really have disappointed me, said Long Chen, looking as if this wasn't even his full power. The six-horned sea serpent man didn't realize that Long Chen was lying, and he was so infuriated that his hair stood on end. Suddenly, he retreated. His six horns began to shine, and a spot of light appeared on the tip of each horn. His aura began to transform. Oh, it grew back so quickly? It seems that my brother will have more to eat, said Long Chen as he secretly gathered energy as well. The six-horned sea serpent man suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood, the mental disturbance interrupting his energy gathering. His body then transformed back into a giant sea demon. The light on top of his six horns linked to form a strange diagram. Long Chen's heart shook. The cause was some kind of forbidden energy. Boom. Before the six-horned sea serpent man could unleash his attack, Long Chen swung Evil Moon, trying to interrupt him. But when Evil Moon slashed into his body, Evil Moon bounced off. This is the power of sacrifice. There's something terrifying at the bottom of the martial heaven sea ring, warned Evil Moon. Despite bouncing off, Long Chen's attack managed to force the six-horned sea serpent back, and the diagram of light dimmed. It had been interrupted. The six-horned sea serpent returned to human form and coughed up more blood. Having this technique interrupted had resulted in a large backlash. Despicable, he roared, feeling like he might go crazy with rage. Idiot.
do you think others will just wait for you to accumulate power and let themselves be attacked? Sneered Long Chen. This sea demon's head had to have something wrong with it. This was no game but a life and death battle. Who would fight according to his tempo? Long Chen stepped forward, no longer planning on giving his opponent a chance to unleash any more big moves. Evil Moon had said that there was something terrifying at the bottom of the sea. The six-horned sea serpent was capable of borrowing that existence's power, and that wouldn't be good. Evil Moon, can you sense what it is at the bottom of the sea? Asked Long Chen. I cannot, unless you go into the sea, but I'd advise you not to. I have a bad feeling. If that thing appears, calamity will follow. I've been refined into a weapon by that bastard Yun Shang. So I can't use my true power. Moreover, you're still too weak. Let's not play around with it, said Evil Moon. Long Chen began to unleash a tempest of attacks at the six-horned sea serpent man, not giving him any chance to breathe and repeatedly forcing him back, let alone a big move. The six-horned sea serpent man couldn't even unleash a small move. He could only bitterly endure. Long Chen, some terrifying existence is approaching. It's probably on the level of a fourth-step nether passage expert, warned Evil Moon. I know. This time, I'll have a proper discussion with them so we can settle things. Long Chen also sensed it. He suddenly unleashed a fierce hack that sent the six-horned sea serpent man flying back. Cloud, we're going. Long Chen appeared on Cloud's back. Cloud spread her wings, and they flew off. You think you can leave after coming to my martial heaven sea ring? Leave your life behind. An ancient voice resounded through the air. A giant mountain-like figure shot out of the sea. Opening its mouth, it tried to devour Long Chen and Cloud. However, Long Chen had calculated the time. Before the mouth could close, Cloud flew out. Carrying Long Chen and Dong Mingyu, she soared into the clouds. At this moment, Long Chen finally had a chance to see what kind of sea demon had come. It was a giant six-horned sea serpent and its scales had already turned to bone. There were countless barbs on it. Compared to its mighty figure, the six-horned sea serpent man that he had just fought was like a little fish. This was a terrifying old sea serpent, perhaps even the ancestor of the six-horned sea serpent race. Its aura was truly frightening. Even Long Chen felt a chill. For sea barrier the old monster of the six-horned sea serpent race let out a cold shout. Its six horns lit up and the world darkened. It was like the sky was being devoured. Long Chen slashed his saber at the darkened space, only to find some kind of special law bounced his attack back. It's God energy. You er, it's up to you, said Long Chen. Dong Mingyu nodded and vanished. A dagger appeared in midair and cut across it. The darkness was cut open, revealing a crack of light. Oh, the old monster of the six-horned sea serpent race let out a confused sound. It clearly hadn't expected Dong Mingyu to possess the power to break through a divine barrier. Cloud shrank and shot through the crack. An instant later, the crack vanished, the darkness fusing back together. Outside the darkness, the sun was still shining brightly. From above, it looked like a giant black bubble had appeared on top of the sea. It was like the eye of a fiend. He, nice job, you er. Long Chen praised Dong Mingyu. God energy was truly the most effective choice against a divine barrier. This was the reason why he had brought Dong Mingyu. Cloud speed was unrivaled within the martial heaven continent, but if she was trapped in a barrier, then that speed would be useless. The barrier exploded and a giant figure shot after Long Chen. This old monster of the six-horned sea serpent race was actually able to fly quickly through the air as if it was still swimming. It opened its mouth and sucked in causing the heavens to collapse. Long Chen felt a powerful force pull him back, and cloud speed instantly dropped. Since you've come, don't even think about leaving. Those who offended my sea demon race have never had good endings, sneered that old monster. Big brother Long Chen, this old monster's too terrifying. My talents are being restricted. I can't escape him, said Cloud. Her speed was being affected by some kind of law. She could only maintain the same speed as the old monster but not throw him off. If this continued, she would definitely be at a disadvantage. She couldn't compete in terms of energy storage with an old monster who had been alive for countless years. Noveloon.com It's fine. You've done very well. I'll handle it. Long Chen turned back to the sea serpent. 
he disdainfully said, your skin is really thick. Has the sea demon race never felt what it's like to have your face slapped? Well, that's fine. I've come so far, so I'll give you this little bit of face. Let's see if you like how it tastes. Long Chen took out a rather large black pill. He opened his hand, and that pill was instantly sucked into the old sea serpent's mouth due to its suction force. Chapter 2224 Poison Pill From the appearance of the pill to when it entered the mouth of that old sea serpent, it all happened in the blink of an eye. The old sea serpent's scales stood on end when it saw that black pill, but before it could shut its mouth, the pill had entered its stomach. The old sea serpent was horrified. His intuition accumulated through living countless years was screaming that it was something fatal. Divine energy immediately surrounded the pill as it attempted to stop the pill from dissolving. It also tried to spit it out. Don't you think it's rude to spit out something you've already eaten? Said Long Chen lightly. Boom. The pill exploded into a giant black scorpion that attacked the stomach walls of the old sea serpent. The sea serpent smashed the scorpion with divine energy, causing it to explode. But in that instant, a huge amount of power exploded along with it, blowing apart its stomach. Although the old sea serpent had powerful defenses, the inside of its stomach was still weak. Black powder blasted out of its body, landing on its flesh and blood. Its body began to rapidly rot. The sea serpent began to vomit mouthfuls of blood. That blood was black and contained some of its damaged internal organs. The very sea turned black from it. The distant six-horned sea serpent man stared in shock. That old sea serpent was a supreme expert of his race but somehow he had still been poisoned. Seeing his poison take effect, Long Chen stopped running. He had Cloud stop at a safe distance. He chortled. How is it? This gift is pretty good, right? The old sea serpent coughed up more blood. No matter how it struggled, it was unable to stop the poison. Its entire body turned black. The sea serpent vanished, replaced by a white-haired old man. He had chosen to change forms at this time, and as he formed hand seals, his manifestation appeared. He was using heavenly Tao energy to suppress the poison. Despite that, he continued to vomit black blood. The poison had instantly spread throughout his body and could no longer be contained. The best he could do was rely on heavenly Tao energy to spit out his rotting flesh and regenerate healthy flesh. Then that flesh would be poisoned, and he would have to spit it out again. This was the only way for him to slowly dilute the poison. As long as he did this, the poison would eventually be expelled. However, the poison was extremely strong, and even after all this time, there was no sign of the poison's effect weakening. Hand. Over. The antidote spat out the old man between spitting out blood. As the sea turned black from the poison he spat out, the nearby sea demons fled. The black sea water gave them chills. If they were touched by it, they would also be poisoned. Your human speech sounds too strange. I can't understand you. Can you say it clearer and slower? Asked Long Chen innocently. Boom. The old man was enraged and spat a black blood arrow at Long Chen. However, in his poisoned state, even a sneak attack was much weaker than usual. Cloud easily dodged it. Long Chen pointed at the old man and cursed. You old bastard. You dare to spit blood at me? Fine. I was going to give you the antidote. But since you refuse to accept kindness, I'll make sure you die. Let me tell you, this pill was personally refined by me and I guarantee it can make you keep spitting up blood for the next three months. This pill was something he had refined yesterday, with the main ingredient being the heavenly underworld vermilion fruits death juice. It had taken him a full six hours to refine this giant pill, and it was even a top-grade tribulation pill. This poison pill would probably have killed even a fourth-step nether passage expert if he or she was a human, even for someone with Samsara energy. Without enough life energy to turn death into life, they would still be poisoned to death. Only a sea demon with their strong constitutions would be able to just barely endure it. However, a human expert also wouldn't have been such an idiot as to leave themselves open to swallow such a giant pill. Long Chen had made it specifically to handle sea demons. Surprisingly, this old monster who had lived for countless years had a life force strong enough to endure this ordeal. By using heavenly Tao energy, he formed a cycle inside his body, removing the poisoned flesh and growing out new flesh. 
As for saying this would continue for three months, Long Chen was just bragging. But the medicinal effect would definitely be enough to continue for three days before weakening. On the other hand, to be constantly coughing up blood like this was definitely a form of torture. Even an incense stick's worth of time would feel as long as a year. The old man alternated between shock and rage at Long Chen's words. The death energy within this poison was so powerful that even the slightest carelessness from him would result in his death. To stay in such a state for three months would drive him crazy. What do you want? The old man could barely spit out words between vomiting blood. He also couldn't stop the vomiting, because that would ruin the equilibrium he had established. Then his life would be in danger. Idiot. If you don't know how to speak properly, then speak spiritually. Who can understand you when you talk like this? Scolded Long Chen arrogantly. Long Chen was confident in his poison pill. This old sea serpent was no longer a threat. Countless sea demons appeared around them, surrounding Long Chen. However, he ignored them. Even the strongest of these sea demons were only comparable to a third step nether passage expert. The only one that had been capable of threatening Long Chen was the old sea serpent, but now he was a fangless tiger. Although Long Chen didn't have a way to kill him, the opposite was also true. What do you want? Are you provoking the sea demon race? The old man spoke spiritually his spiritual fluctuations raging through the air. Are you an idiot? Am I the one provoking the sea demon race? Or is it the sea demon race that's provoking me? You initiated the beast tide. Wasn't that to draw me out? What? Now that you've drawn me out, you want to question why I would appear? Asked Long Chen. Beast tide. The old man suddenly let out a furious roar. What is going on? Who gave the order for a beast tide? Within the crowd. A quivering whale monster approached, reporting to the Sea King. I gave the order. One of the human race's experts said that as long as we sent some troops to attack the continent, we would be able to stall Long Chen. They also guaranteed not to interfere. That way, we could all win. I asked the Heavenly Drake Sea King about it, and he agreed to it. Did you hear that? You were the ones who provoked me first. Now you're clear on it, sneered Long Chen. Boom. Just at this moment, the void exploded and a giant figure appeared. It was another existence comparable to the old sea serpent. I was the one who approved it. This Long Chen is a scourge and must be eliminated. An icy voice rang out through the air, causing the sea to rage. The exploded space revealed a two headed drake. It immediately sealed this entire space, preventing Long Chen from escaping. However, just as this space began to seal, a dagger cut through the air and Long Chen and Cloud flew out. Want to run? The two-headed drake sneered and opened its mouths. A powerful suction force appeared. Long Chen also sneered and waved his hand. Another black pill appeared, and the old sea serpent elder shouted, Stop! The two-headed drake didn't know what was happening, but having known the old sea serpent for so many years, it stopped. They quickly passed some quick messages, and the two-headed drake's expression changed. At this time, Long Chen was regretfully shaking his head, looking at the pill in his hand. He grumbled, Old fellow, why are you worrying so much? This newcomer has a whole head more than you, so even if he eats the poison pill, he'll be fine. You, the two-headed drake began to sweat. The old sea serpent's cultivation base was actually a bit higher than the two-headed drake, but even he was barely able to keep himself alive after consuming the poison pill. Courting death. The two-headed drake roared and sent a claw toward Long Chen. Long Chen slashed his saber, facing him directly. Long Chen was forced back, but the claw was forced to come to a pause in midair. Just at this moment, a small figure flashed. A dagger cut through the dragon claw. Die. The two-headed drake was infuriated, but by the time he attacked Dong Mingyu, she had vanished. Watch out. The old sea serpent suddenly let out a startled cry. The other sea demons also cried out. A black light shot into the wound in its claw. That black light was a medicinal pill, and it instantly vanished into the wound. Frightened, the two-headed drake actually cut off his own claw. Blood splashed. HMPH, I refuse to believe you have another such pill. The two-headed drake regrew his claw, but he was enraged. You want more? Just tell me how many you need. If you want enough. I can give you an 80% discount. 
Long Chen waved his hand, and black specks appeared in the air. He actually had hundreds of poison pills. Dumbfounding the Sea Demons Chapter 2225 Black Soil Claims the Sea Big Brother Long Chen When did you refine so many? Yesterday, you cloud sent a spiritual message to Long Chen. Shh, foolish girl. These are all fake for scaring them, responded Long Chen hastily, not wanting Cloud to reveal any clues. Last night, he had only refined one giant pill, and that was after several failures. A giant pill was very difficult to refine, but its effect was several times greater than an ordinary pill. As for these pills that looked like the poison pill, he had simply mashed the flesh of the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit together into a similar shape. In truth, just that was already incredibly toxic, but it didn't have the power to limitlessly spread like the giant pill. The two-headed drake would have been able to resist the poison even if he didn't cut off his claw. But he had been frightened by the old sea serpent and so he didn't dare to take the risk noveloon.com you -er. Next time can you try a different spot? For example, his head's pretty big. I want to see if I throw poison into his head. Will he also cut it off? Long Chen looked at Dong Mingyu seriously. Dong Mingyu held back a smile and nodded. Being with Long Chen was truly interesting. Even at such a serious time, he could make her laugh. That wasn't because his words were so comical, but that in the blood kill hall, she had never been allowed to relax in the slightest to laugh. Long Chen's gaze roved around the two-headed drake as if he was looking for a suitable spot to strike. The two-headed drake instantly felt a chill. His body suddenly shrank as he transformed into another old man, but he still had two heads. His heads were bald and covered in scales, and his pupils were vertical like crocodiles. Now I've taken human form. So you won't have any chance to poison me, shouted the two-headed drake. By taking human form, you've lost access to many of your divine abilities, and your speed will drop. I can go or stay as I wish now. Why would I waste my precious poison on you? Asked Long Chen disdainfully. You, the two-headed drake was enraged. Long Chen was completely correct. When not in his true form, he couldn't do anything to Long Chen. HMPH. Even if I can't catch you, I can kill the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, the Zhuanshan Dao sect, and the heaven-splitting battle sect. I'll kill them all. Did the others tell you to say that? What an idiot. Do you now know that I hate being threatened? Fine. Since you want to die so badly, I'll show you what true viciousness is. Long Chen suddenly waved his hand, and the pills floating around him shot into the sea. The seawater quickly turned black and it continued to spread. Some of the sea demons hiding beneath the surface floated up, dead. The other sea demons hastily fled far away. The toxicity of the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit lay not just in rotting the flesh but corroding the soul as well. There was a kind of energy within it capable of paralyzing the soul and making a person powerless to run. The sea demons didn't have powerful souls, so they were easily paralyzed. Then the poison would overwhelm the physical body and they would be truly dead. What a joke. No matter how much poison you have, it will be diluted by the sea and purified. You can't threaten us, sneered the two-headed drake. He stepped forward, attacking. Cloud flapped her wings, bringing Long Chen flying away. The army of sea demons followed behind them. Every direction was blocked by the army of sea demons. You're right. It's a huge joke. Without any preparations. Do you think I'd come here? Long Chen smiled and waved his hand. A constant stream of black powder began to shoot out of him. As Cloud sped along, it was like a black dragon of dust was following their trail. Not good. This black dust was the toxic flesh of the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit. It was piled up in the primal chaos space because the main part needed for refining the nethergate pills was the fruit pit. As a result, Long Chen used very little of the fruit flesh. Long Chen had refined and consumed a lot of nethergate pills since the Qi flow eruption. The leftover fruit flesh had been set aside. After that, Long Chen had crushed the flesh and turned it into powder to use against the sea demon race. Any sea demons touched by the black dust would scream. This powder wasn't as effective as his giant pill, but it was still extremely corrosive. Some of the sea demons even had sticky membranes that made it even easier for them to be poisoned. This powder wouldn't be very effective against the experts of the continent, 
that was because they would summon defenses to make sure the powder didn't touch them. However, these sea demons didn't have that kind of method. A technique that didn't take the slightest effort from the continent's experts was as difficult as ascending the heavens to them. They could only flee. The black powder landed on the sea, turning it black. The sea demons had no choice but to flee to the depths of the sea to avoid the poison. Cloud sped along, while Long Chen continued to release more poison. The sea demons chasing them were quickly thrown off. Cloud, go back. If they don't chase us, we'll chase them, said Long Chen. Cloud let out a bird cry and turned back, heading straight toward the sea demons. Long Chen, you bastard. You are courting the two-headed Drake suddenly shut his mouth. Within the black dust, a black ball smashed into his mouth and exploded. If he hadn't shut his mouth in time, that pill might have entered his mouth. However, despite that, black medicinal powder entered his eyes, causing him to roar. He dived into the sea to expel the poison. This is addicting. Cloud cried out excitedly. A glow came from her feathers, forming a defensive barrier that blocked the powder. However, these powerful sea demons didn't have such a defense. Seeing them in their panicked state from the powder, Cloud felt like she would be able to wipe out this entire army on her own. Long Chen, you are courting death. I'll summon the entire army right now and annihilate anyone connected to you, shouted the two-headed Drake as he popped out of the sea once more. He was helpless to do anything to Long Chen, so he could only threaten him with the people he cared about. You're the one courting death right now, but fine, I'll help you out. Long Chen's killing intent instantly soared, forming a hand seal. The space behind him split open. Black soil poured out like a flood. When the black soil fell into the martial heaven sea ring, the entire sea began to shake, and an aura of annihilation spread throughout. The spiritual chi within the water was consumed by the black soil. The sea demons were shocked. In that instant, they finally felt fear. Wherever the black soil went, the sea water turned into death water. It was stripping away the life of the sea. The two-headed drake and the old sea serpent were horrified. They had never encountered such a terrifying black soil. This black soil came from the core of the primal chaos space. Although it wasn't poison. It contained endless death energy that devoured the sea's life energy. Long Chen's primal chaos space had grown along with his cultivation base and was now millions and millions of miles wide. The black soil was seemingly endless as it poured into the sea. The black soil was like a hungry magical beast devouring the life energy of the sea. If it was just a bit of it, it wouldn't be enough to worry the sea demons. But the amount was simply unimaginable. Today. I'll turn the martial heaven sea ring into a land of death. I'll go for a stroll throughout the entire ring, said Long Chen, his killing intent raging within him. These idiots really knew how to threaten him. Cloud spread her wings and sped off. As she flew, black soil poured out, turning the sea into a land of death. It seemed like he wanted to go for a full loop around the sea ring. Stop, stop, we can talk about this, shouted the old sea serpent, panicking. If too much of the black soil fell into the martial heaven sea ring, then the spiritual chi of the sea would vanish. If that was the case, the genius sea demons in seclusion right now would be affected. If Long Chen really did as he said and he had enough black soil to cover the entire sea, the martial heaven sea ring would be doomed. Although the old sea serpent knew that Long Chen was probably just trying to scare them as it was impossible for him to have so much black soil, he couldn't take that risk. Do you think I'll stop just because you say so? It seems that the martial heaven continent has made you think you can do whatever you want. Today, I'll show you who's a real man. Long Chen ignored them, continuing to speed away with Cloud. The sea demons chased, but Cloud was too fast. Even the two old monsters were unable to catch up, especially since they didn't dare to use their devouring art, afraid of Long Chen's poison. In half an incense sticks worth of time, Long Chen had flown from the eastern sea region all the way to the southern sea region. The old sea serpent wanted to cry. The black soil had spread throughout his territory, turning the sea in his territory black. It was still spreading. If this continued, the consequences would be unimaginable. Suddenly, the void exploded and two huge sea demons appeared, blocking Long Chen's path. 
Long Chen was facing four terrifying peak 12th rank sea demons. Chapter 2226 Sea Demons Compromise Four peak 12th rank sea demons had now surrounded Long Chen. He was shocked by the hidden forces of the sea demon race, but he didn't panic. He gave them enough time to discuss things, and the two newcomers didn't immediately attack. Amongst the sea demon race, peak 12th rank sea demons were called sea kings and were in charge of their own areas. The Eastern Sea region had two Sea Kings, while the Southern Sea region also had two Sea Kings. Now that four Sea Kings had gathered, even an enormous existence like Pill Valley would be frightened. Long Chen, just what do you want? demanded the old Sea Serpent. The black soil that Long Chen had thrown out had turned his Sea region into a region of death, while they were unable to do anything to him, even with four Sea Kings present. Long Chen's poison pills were easily able to affect them when they were in their true forms. But in human form, they weren't able to stop him. It was enraging. The two-headed drake was especially regretful about provoking such a Yama king. It's not what I want, but what you want, right? This is all caused by you. You forced me. Didn't you think I'm easy to bully? So I'll accompany you. Didn't you use the people beside me to threaten me? Then I'll also threaten you. Let's not miss this chance, said Long Chen with an icy smile. In truth, as soon as the old sea serpent put it this way, Long Chen knew that he had terrified them. They were no longer confident in suppressing him. As for himself, he had ended up using too much of the black soil. The primal chaos space had started to shake, and he would need some more time for the primal chaos space to recover before he could take out large quantities of the black soil again. The arrival of the two new sea kings was perfect. He could act like he could keep going as long as he pleased. Fine, I admit that this matter was the fault of the sea demons. We were incited to do this by others. Let this matter pass like this. We can both mind our own business, said the two-headed drake reluctantly. As a sea king, apologizing to a human was a very humiliating affair. However, he had no choice but to lower his head because he had no way to handle Long Chen. If things continued, they would be the ones to suffer. All his big words about going onto the continent and attacking the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, the Zhuanshan Dao sect, and the heaven-splitting battle sect were just threats to intimidate Long Chen. At this time, they didn't dare to actually do such a thing for fear of angering the Divine Families Noveloon.com His threatening words had only angered Long Chen further rather than intimidated him, resulting in a huge region of the sea becoming a land of death. The two-headed drake was filled with regret and could only admit defeat. Let things pass just like this? What thing? Mind our own business? What business? Do you realize that you were used by others to force me to my death? You think things can pass just like this? Do you think I'm an idiot? My opponents are doing their best to advance, while you're holding back my cultivation. When they break through to Nether Passage, they'll immediately come to take my head. Because of your foolishness, I'll die in the near future. You want things to end just like this? Why does this sound so funny? Snorted Long Chen disdainfully. Then what do you want? Little fellow, it would be best if you don't go too far. If you really anger us, we won't mind paying any price to kill you here, said one of the Sea Kings of the Southern Sea. Don't play that game with me. In any case, I've been slowed down because of you, so I'll definitely die soon. Before dying, I want to do something big. I don't mind dying if I can get a good price for my life. So, don't try to scare me. I'm afraid of dying. If you want to come try me, then come. We can fight to the death. Exchanging my life for the lives of a few kings and turning the martial heaven sea ring into a land of death is quite worth it, don't you think? Said Long Chen indifferently. The two sea kings furiously clenched their teeth, but they didn't dare to attack. They knew that if they couldn't suppress Long Chen in one go, he would go crazy and there would be no chance to negotiate. Then what? Just tell us. But don't go too far, said the old sea serpent. They no longer used such tyrannical and bullying words as before. Long Chen was just too tough for them to handle. Long Chen laughed inside. As expected, even tough people were afraid of people who didn't fear death. Tell me, who told you to do this? Asked Long Chen. This was a question he wanted an answer to. 
It was the Dongfang family's people, said the two-headed drake without any hesitation. There was a tone of hatred in his voice. Clearly, he felt conned by the Dongfang family. Long Chen's hatred toward the Dongfang family soared. This family didn't have a single good person from top to bottom. Dongfang Yuyang in particular was the worst hypocrite. He had actually schemed against Long Chen again. You really are idiots. Have you not heard the expression? The sandpiper and clam war. The fishermen benefits? They purposely instigated this conflict between us. And you actually went through with it. Cursed Long Chen. The four sea demons trembled with rage. They were monstrous existences who had lived for countless years. But they were being cursed like this. If it weren't for the fact that they couldn't catch Long Chen, they would have long since crushed him to death. Cough. There's no point in stating the past so much. We all fell for it. This matter is just a misunderstanding said one sea king. Don't try to gloss over things. This matter was done by you, and you have to bear the responsibility. Well, I won't make things hard on you. Go to the Dongfang family, tear down their walls, and fish out a fellow called Dongfang Yuyang. Slap him nine times nine, eighty-three, times in the face, not one more or one less, said Long Chen. Big brother Long Chen, nine times nine is eighty-one, corrected Dong Mingyu. That's fine too. It's however much they feel it is. If they feel they didn't hit him the right number of times, they can start over, responded Long Chen. Dong Mingyu almost laughed once more, looking at the sea demons. She realized that they couldn't even understand the intricacies behind his words. Their heads were truly lacking intelligence. When the time came, they would strike 81 times and then suddenly add two more in their confusion. She laughed inside at the thought. All right, no problem. We agree, said the two-headed drake directly. He also hated the Dongfang family and wanted to get back at them. We've expressed our sincerity. Shouldn't you also express your sincerity? Can you give me the antidote? I can't endure this much longer, said the old sea serpent. The old sea serpent was speaking spiritually, as he was unable to speak properly due to constantly spitting out black blood. He had been nervous this entire time as he focused on enduring the poison. What sincerity? Other than talking nonsense, you haven't done anything. Well, to let you talk properly, I can give you a pill to temporarily suppress the poison. Long Chen flicked a white pill at the old sea serpent. The old sea serpent suddenly hesitated. If this was a poison pill as well, wouldn't he die? Seeing that hesitation, Long Chen coldly said, If you feel like it's poison, you can refuse to consume it. I, Long Chen, am not like you. I disdain such garbage tricks. Hearing that, and after closely examining the pill, the sea serpent decided to consume it. He truly did sense life energy inside it. A pure life energy spread within his body after consuming it, instantly alleviating the symptoms of the poison. Although it didn't directly expel the poison, at least he wasn't constantly spitting out blood. He instantly felt relaxed. The feeling of not constantly vomiting was amazing. This pill will only neutralize the poison for half an incense stick's worth of time. So listen well. My requirement is for you to tear down the Dongfang family's walls and capture Dongfang Yuyang. You are to slap him we know, said the old sea serpent. Listen, when slapping, you have to follow my requirements without being the slightest bit off. You, come here and be an example, demanded Long Chen. The old sea serpent was startled. Warily, he walked over to Long Chen, when the two of them were standing right next to each other. The old sea serpent suddenly had an urge to attack and suppress Long Chen. You can attack, but let me tell you, don't regret it if you do, said Long Chen as if seeing through his thoughts. No, no, I definitely wouldn't do such a thing, said the old sea serpent quickly, suppressing that desire. Pay attention, when you hit him, you have to do it exactly like this. Long Chen suddenly raised his hand, and phantom images of his hand seemed to appear. In one motion, he slapped the old sea serpent 18 times. Long Chen was so fast that the old sea serpent didn't even react before Long Chen was finished. All four sea kings were dumbfounded. Long Chen was incredibly fast. If he had wanted to kill instead, wouldn't it have been easy? 
The old sea serpent began to sweat. Chapter 2227 Spiritual Mark When Long Chen slapped the old sea serpent, Dong Mingyu stealthily activated a photographic jade to record it all. Remember, alternate between your palm and the back of your hand. Nine beats together will make a perfect rhythm. Lacking even a beat will fall short of perfection, said Long Chen as if he hadn't just slapped a sea king. Even Dong Mingyu and Cloud were stunned. Although he had told them to activate a photographic jade, they hadn't known that he would slap a sea king. Hence, they didn't dare to believe their eyes. The old sea serpent was still dumbfounded. Only after the slapping was finished did he realize that he was the demonstration. Long Chen dared to slap him. He knew that the sea demon race didn't understand the true meaning behind a slap in the face. When Long Chen had fought that young man of the six-horned sea serpent race, the latter hadn't reacted to being slapped. He had felt it to be like being struck by a fist. Furthermore, Long Chen's amazing face slapping arts had deeply shaken them. In their view, Long Chen could kill them without them being able to react. But in reality, this technique of his had no killing power. If it contained killing intent, it would be sensed. His string of slaps was just like an itch to the old sea serpent. Thinking that Long Chen had been merciful, the old sea serpent was simply filled with shock. That's too difficult. I can't learn it. I can only do it one at a time, said the old sea serpent. The sea demon race only knew how to use brute strength and their innate divine abilities. Anything requiring technique was difficult. Moreover, Long Chen's face slapping art was something that only a few masters of the human race would be able to imitate, let alone the sea demon race. Ah, then I'll make it simpler. Just do it like this. Long Chen slapped him twice, once with his palm and once with the back of his hand. It looked slow, and yet the old sea serpent was even more shocked because despite clearly seeing Long Chen's movements, he wasn't able to react. He was slapped once more before he could react. Is this simple enough? Asked Long Chen. It's still a bit too difficult. Can you demonstrate it a few more times? Requested the old sea serpent. All right, watch closely. This time I'll use my left hand. My arm bends slightly, and then with my shoulder as the foundation, the shoulder, elbow, and wrist strike at the same time. But the amount of power is different. Long Chen began to explain as he slapped for half an incense stick's worth of time. The entire time, the old sea serpent didn't move. Long Chen suddenly realized something was wrong, and he raged. You crafty old man, you're trying to learn my divine art. No, no, cried out the old sea serpent. In the distance, Dong Mingyu and Cloud almost collapsed in laughter, but they bitterly endured. Dong Mingyu couldn't help shaking her head. Perhaps the sea demon race's heads had been underwater for too long but they were truly lacking in intelligence. She could easily tell that the old sea serpent was only acting like he didn't understand to make Long Chen explain in even greater detail. The other three sea kings were also watching closely, not wanting to miss a single bit of information. Clearly, they had been enthralled by Long Chen's technique. They wanted it. Unfortunately, they didn't know that there was no way that they could learn this move considering that they were sea demons who didn't even know how to use magical arts. Thinking of how that old sea serpent had just stood there and allowed Long Chen to slap him for half an incense stick's worth of time, Dong Mingyu almost broke down. These old fellows really had wild dreams. Even after being exposed, they refused to admit it. I'm not teaching you any longer. Just hit him how you want. But remember. It has to be 9 times 9, 83, times in the face. Long Chen acted duped and angrily shouted. As he shouted, he spoke spiritually to Evil Moon. So, is it done? It's done. Evil Moon's reply made Long Chen relax. He had stalled all this time just for Evil Moon. Fine, once I recover, we'll immediately attack. Don't you think? The old sea serpent's intent was clear. Long Chen smiled. What a businessman. Even without accomplishing anything, you want the antidote the old sea serpent awkwardly said. My current condition isn't good. Facing an everlasting family, I'm afraid I don't have enough power like this. Long Chen was disdainful inside. With the four sea demons here, any random two could go, and that would be enough to flatten the Dongfang family. This excuse was easy to see through. Fine, I can give you the antidote. 
but you have to swear to accomplish the mission I gave you, warned Long Chen. Yes, I swear upon the martial heaven sea ring to carry out the mission Long Chen has given me, swore the old sea serpent. What kind of dog shit oath was this? Long Chen couldn't be bothered to quibble. He supposed the oath didn't matter. Here, Long Chen tossed out another giant pill. This was something he had just refined with the moon and star refining furnace in combination with his soul. It had been refined while he was slapping the old sea serpent. This giant pill was only high grade. Refining a high grade giant pill was his limit in such a short time. This pill was refined from the fruit pit of the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit. It was truly the antidote. The old sea serpent examined it closely, and after confirming there was no problem with it, he consumed it. His black face instantly began to clear up as the toxins in his body began to diminish. Although you've consumed the antidote, you cannot participate in an intense battle within the next three days, or the poison that has yet to be purified from your bones and soul will resurge. Although that won't kill you, it will reduce your combat power and result in you being killed by whoever you're fighting, said Long Chen. Yes, thank you for the warning. I'll focus on healing, and then I'll immediately go settle things with the Dongfang family. I guarantee I will accomplish this mission, said the old serpent. Remember, your movements have to be natural and flowing to make it look pleasing. Long Chen jumped onto Cloud's back but didn't forget to shout back at them before leaving. Yes, the old sea serpent hastily agreed. Long Chen nodded and flew away with Cloud. The army of sea demons made a path for them. In an instant, Cloud transformed, leaving behind only a single fading streak of light. The old sea serpent suddenly arrived in front of another sea demon and slapped it twice. That sea demon was startled. Its mouth split from the slap, and it stared in shock at the old sea serpent. The old serpent earnestly asked, How was it? Do you feel it's on par with the technique of that little human? The sea demon honestly answered, the speed seems to be lacking a bit, as a result, it was slapped twice once again, how about now, asked the old sea serpent, yes, it's almost the same, cried out the sea demon, it was afraid of being slapped to death, ha ha ha, that little human was such an idiot, I've already mastered this technique, he realized it too late, laughed the old sea serpent, no, you need to train a bit more. I feel like it's a bit stiff, said the two-headed drake. Are we really going to the Dongfang family? If we really go, it might be troublesome. It won't be good to force the divine families to make a move. Isn't that all because of you? Raged the old sea serpent. If it weren't for the two-headed drake listening to the Dongfang family's suggestions, how would they have provoked the calamity known as Long Chen? That's not important. If we're really going to attack the Dongfang family, Shouldn't we alert the sea emperor the two-headed drake changed the subject awkwardly. No need. Long Chen didn't ask us to kill anyone. We're just going to go. Tear down their walls. And beat up that Dongfang Yuyang or whatever. The divine families won't care about that. The Dongfang family has some big guts to dare to use us. If we don't get back at them. What would happen to the dignity of the sea demon race? Even if Long Chen didn't ask this of us. We'd still have to go to the Dongfang family, said the young man of the six-horned sea serpent face. Let's discuss it when we get back, said the old sea serpent. Saying goodbye to the other two sea kings, he led his people away. A large black region had appeared within the martial heaven sea ring. The sea demon race locked this area down, preventing it from spreading. From high above, it looked like someone had left a vicious stroke of ink across the blue martial heaven sea ring. That mark stayed there for years and years. Eventually, it was called the death zone of the Eastern Sea. Ha 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 ha. Once Cloud was far enough, Long Chen couldn't help laughing. Even he hadn't expected things to turn out so well. Dong Mingyu and Cloud also laughed. Cloud almost crashed into a mountain due to her laughter, causing Dong Mingyu to let out a startled cry before she laughed even harder. Long Chen, I find you really are a peerlessly evil person. Admirable said Evil Moon. Even it felt powerless in front of him. To slap someone repeatedly in the face and actually have that person feel like they had gotten a huge advantage was unimaginable to it. Will they really not be able to sense the spiritual mark you left behind? 
asked Long Chen after laughing. Chapter 2228 The results of the gathering don't worry about it. The six-horned sea serpent can be considered part of the dragon bloodline. My spiritual mark will be absorbed by him without him knowing, answered Evil Moon. When the old sea serpent had started admitting defeat, Long Chen had been planning on giving him some slow poison to weaken him until he eventually died. But Evil Moon had actually reached out to him and asked if it could hide its spiritual mark within a medicinal pill to give to the old sea serpent. Evil Moon said that as long as it worked, when Long Chen advanced to Nether Passage, he would be able to use his spiritual strength to control that old sea serpent. He might even be able to turn him into a puppet. Evil Moon required Long Chen to use its full power. That was the restriction that Yun Shang had forced on it when he had refined it into a weapon. Perhaps Yun Shang had been worried about Evil Moon killing Long Chen. As long as Long Chen was strong enough, he would be able to unleash Evil Moon's full power. But the current Long Chen had yet to reach that level. Nice. This way we can tell what secrets lie beneath the Martial Heaven Sea Ring. Long Chen clenched his fist. Long Chen returned to the Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow race. After that, Cloud and Dong Mingaya went into seclusion. In the depths of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race, Lu Ruian had summoned her true body. Willow branches wrapped around the dragon blood warriors, pulsing with life and death energy. Lu Ruian had fully refined the energy that the Yun Yang immortal grass had bestowed upon her, giving her the ability to manifest the Tao of life and death. This was a kind of mental realm that could enlighten others and allow them to advance their comprehension of life and death rapidly. Within the entire Dragonblood Legion, there were only three people who didn't need Lu Ruian's help. One was Yu Zifeng, one was Wild, and the last was Long Chen. Yu Zifeng cultivated the Sword Dao. He walked a different path from everyone else. Long Chen had told him to go into seclusion in the Heavenly Sword Gate. This place didn't need his help for now. Wild had returned to the Wild World. There, he had enough to eat and never had to worry about an empty stomach. As for the corpses of the sea demons from the last battle in front of the Yun Yang world, Wild had stored them. For someone who had suffered from hunger for a long time, Wild was profoundly aware of just what kind of torment it was. He had stored many rations now, and in the Wild world, he wouldn't need to touch these rations. As for Long Chen, he was busy refining pills. Time passed quickly, and seven days went by in the blink of an eye. On this day, a gathering took place on the continent. However, Long Chen didn't participate. He just waited for the news. And as expected, that evening, Hu Jianying came. But this time, the old man who had been following her for a while now didn't come. Alliance head, why do you look displeased? Long Chen smiled at Hu Jianying comfortingly, pouring tea for her. Hu Jianying's expression was extremely ugly. Isn't it all because of you? Fine. It's actually because of those bastards from Pill Valley. Hu Jianying sighed. They're causing trouble once more. Long Chen simply smiled. This was very normal and completely within his expectations. This was why he hadn't gone. If he had, there was a 99% chance of a fight breaking out. There was nothing for him to discuss with those sanctimonious hypocrites. Pill Valley. The ancient races. The corrupt path. The Xuan beasts. The blood kill hall. The ancient family alliance, and others said that the chi flow eruption was caused by you, and as the one to benefit the most from it, the dragon blood legion should be the only one to bear the consequences when the sovereign seal breaks. Hu Jianying clenched her teeth furiously. Even now, these bastards refused to give up on targeting Long Chen. Originally, Hu Jianying had thought that the battle in front of the Yun Yang world would be enough for the dragon blood legion to intimidate them. After all, their current power was very frightening. They seemed unstoppable. Once the Dragonblood Legion advanced to Nether Passage, they would have enough power to flatten any of the powers, but they still dared to target them. That was no different from courting death. What a huge joke. The Qi Flow eruption benefited the whole world. It wasn't as if the Dragonblood Legion consumed it all. And so what if I occupied the biggest Qi Flow stream? If I didn't occupy it. Would those cowards have dared to fight the Sea Demon army when they came? Wouldn't the Sea Demon race have occupied it then? Would they also order the Sea Demon race to stop the blood race? Long Chen scoffed. 
I said the same thing, but they had too many people. I can't out-talk them, and I almost blew up in anger, raged Kujinying. Why didn't the old man come? asked Long Chen. His temper is worse than mine. He really did blow up in anger, right in front of the outer branches of the divine families. He killed a few of the worst offenders and was then expelled from the gathering. He raged back to his home. When I went to see him, he refused to see me. He's probably angry at me, sighed Kujin Ying helplessly. She knew that the old man was angry that she was too weak. What was the point of talking reason with those people? In his opinion, such people should simply be killed. Long Chen smiled. The old man was pretty domineering. He didn't care about some outer branches of the divine families. If someone provoked him, he wouldn't mind killing them regardless. That was a real man. You shouldn't have brought him, said Long Chen. Brought him? He's the one who forcibly came with me. I couldn't even kick him away, snorted Kujinying. Just what was the point of holding such a huge gathering? Were the divine families trying to show their power? Long Chen changed the subject. It was not a show of martial power. The divine families only sent four experts to manage the gathering. They were all fourth step nether passage experts, on the same level as Taoist Heavenly Feather. Their auras were powerful, but they spoke very gently. They said that they wanted to hear everyone's opinions and views on the upcoming dark era, but in reality, it was just a formality. The divine families are truly powerful. They sent four fourth step nether passage experts. So their true foundation must be frightening. They definitely have existences above the Nether Passage realm. With how powerful they are, perhaps we will be able to stop the invaders even without a sovereign. Ah, there was also one person who told me to apologize to you, saying that the matter inside the Grand Shia was managed by someone wrongly and that the person in charge of it has already been handled. He says that he hopes this matter will not break the unity of the continent. How do you see this? asked Kujinying. How else? With my eyes. Long Chen shook his head. Be serious. Kujinying rolled her eyes at Long Chen. Long Chen seriously said. All right. I actually have no opinion on that. The important thing is that no one knows how much of what that person says is true or false. Actually, at that time, I was very curious why the Divine Family's outer branches would support the Grand Han. There are some suspicious points that I still haven't understood. However, in my opinion, the outer branches would only do such a thing with the approval of the true divine families. Otherwise, they wouldn't dare to do so. After all, their relationship with the Grand Han doesn't bring them any benefits to speak of. This matter was truly suspicious. Long Chen had no idea about the motivations of the outer branches of the divine families. Hu Jinying nodded. The divine families have always been a legendary existence. It is said that they even had a close connection with the sovereigns. But once the sovereign rises, they no longer interfere. When the sovereigns aren't present, they will appear to save the continent. However, for some reason, there are very few records of the divine families. There are only some folklore and legends. But in any case, their emergence is a good thing for the continent. All the sects can set their minds at ease. It's the opposite for me, said Long Chen. Hu Jinying looked at Long Chen and sighed. You're just like that old ghost, like a stone covered in crap, both smelly and hard. I don't know what possessed me to fall for him. This old heart of mine has already broken worrying about him, so I don't have the energy to worry about you. When Ling Shen reaches the Nether Passage realm, I will pass the Martial Heaven Alliance over to her, and then I can also start drinking and laughing. To tell the truth, the position of head of the alliance is so tiring a weariness that Pu Jinying had never allowed herself to show in public finally appeared in her eyes. Leading the continent's righteous path was a heavy burden, especially in the recent turbulent times. The pressure was sometimes so great that it felt like she couldn't breathe. Sometimes, she had to make decisions she didn't want to make, decisions where she didn't know if what she was doing was right or wrong. She could only rely on her experience. She had already lost the heart of a true martial artist, and her cultivation base had stagnated. It could be said that she had given her entire life to the Martial Heaven Alliance. Although Long Chen didn't quite approve of Pu Jinying's conservative method of handling things, 
he admitted that she was a strong woman worthy of respect. To be able to maintain a selfless heart in this selfish cultivation world was very precious. You and the old man can take a break. Sometimes you need to relax and leave things to the junior generation. Perhaps that might bring some blessings, said Long Chen. The old man and Ku Jin Ying were both stubborn. They were the pillars of the organizations they controlled. Due to that, they were unable to maintain their relationship. That was truly pitiful. Ku Jin Ying smiled. That old fellow finally grew a heart and promised me to revisit our old haunts from back in the day. He actually had a good idea. He, the old man's not bad in this aspect. I can learn some things, praised Long Chen. He also wanted to bring Chu Yao and the others to the eastern wasteland to look back on the path they had taken and dredge up those memories. That would definitely be romantic. Who would have thought that the old man actually knew something about romance? Ku Jin Ying seemed to be lost in those past affairs and smiled. It was only after a while that she recovered. Let's get back to the topic. Although Pill Valley and the others targeted you, there were others who supported you like the Nangong family and the Bidang family. But the unexpected thing is that even the Zeman family supported you. Chapter 2229 The Divine Families Come Calling The Zeman Family Also Supported Me? Did they fall on their heads recently? Asked Long Chen. Zeman Xiangsheng had previously even fought Long Chen. They were clearly enemies. Why would the Zeman family support him? I'm also curious about this. But the Zeman family truly did express their support of you. Saying that it was extremely unfair to have the Dragonblood Legion block the blood race alone. Furthermore, there was no proof to say that the Qi Flow eruption was related to you. Subjective views were unjust. So with the three everlasting families supporting you, adding on the Martial Heaven Alliance, the Divine Families didn't state anything immediately. They simply said that they would have to take their time with this decision. The Divine Families also added that the current Martial Heaven continent cannot continue to have its people fighting each other. They ask all powers on the continent to work together against the outsiders. That's why I don't think anyone will try to target you during this time. You should reserve your temper to avoid a clash with the Divine Families, said Ku Jin Ying. For the Divine Families to not target Long Chen due to his conflict with the outer branches indicated that they had absolved him of that matter. Most likely, that was in deference to his talent. That was a good thing. She truly did wish for Long Chen to calm down and stop messing around. Long Chen nodded. I definitely won't do anything to the Divine Families. You can relax. I never take the initiative to provoke others. From the eastern wastelands to the central plains, he hadn't bullied anyone. Even when encountering enticing treasures, he had never killed their owners for them. All his enemies had found him first. If he hadn't fought back, he'd have been killed. It was strange now that he thought about it. Wherever he went, he encountered some blind people who wanted to provoke him. His current situation was something others had forced him into. In front of the yin-yang world, he had killed countless powerful experts, even killing two heirs of emperors, but apparently that still wasn't enough to intimidate his enemies. They continued to target him. This was basically a puzzle with no solution. Suddenly, one of Ku Jin Ying's rings began to flash. Startled, Ku Jin Ying checked it. This ring could be used for urgent messages, but it would only be for major matters. When she checked the news, she was shocked. What? Did something happen with the blood race? Asked Long Chen. No. The Dongfang family was suddenly attacked by the sea demon race. They tore down the Dongfang mansion, picked up Dongfang Yuyang, and slapped him in the face hundreds of times. When his face was unrecognizable and he was coughing up blood, they finally left. It seems that Dongfang Yuyang was on the verge of being bedeviled, said Ku Jin Ying. This news came out of nowhere. She didn't quite know what to think about it, or if she even believed it. Long Chen smiled. As expected, the 9 times 9 equals 83 had completely confused the sea demons. After just a few slaps, they had lost count. The news says that the sea demon race sent out two peak 12th rank sea demons as well as hundreds of thousands of others that surrounded the Dongfang family. Even the family head was blocked by them. He could only watch as Dongfang Yuyang was slapped. Furthermore, 
the one slapping him was the young man from the six horn sea serpent race that fought you in front of the yin yang world. Just what is going on? Why would they start a feud with the Dongfang family? Ku Jinying was completely confused. She felt like her head wasn't working. Why would two completely unrelated powers suddenly start fighting? The sea demon race had provoked Long Chen in such a terrible way and then immediately went to the unrelated Dongfang family? Who knows? Perhaps they found Dongfang Yuyang ugly. For the first time, I feel like that little sea serpent isn't that bad, chortled Long Chen. The sea demon race had finally made their move. If they had continued waiting, Long Chen would have had to pay them a visit. But their move was even better than he had predicted. It seemed that the sea demon race themselves hated the Dongfang family for tricking them. The curious thing is that they didn't kill anyone. They just destroyed their manor and slapped Dongfang Yuyang. Hu Jinying continued to reread the news, growing more and more confused as to how this had happened. Suddenly, she saw Long Chen's wily smile. She demanded, Little fellow, you wouldn't know anything about this, right? Long Chen hastily waved his hand. How could I know anything? I'm just happy that the Dongfang family has been put in their place. Ha ha ha. Novaloon.com thinking of how Dongfang Yuyang's sanctimonious face had been slapped into a pig's head. Long Chen couldn't hold back a laugh. Although he hadn't seen it, his imagination was quite satisfying. Seeing that expression of delight at his enemy's misfortune, Hu Jinying was speechless. This fellow really didn't know how to hide his feelings. Hu Jinying asked about the Dragonblood Legion's situation, and upon learning that they were all in seclusion and training, she was put at ease. She told Long Chen to focus on advancing as soon as possible and then left. After Hu Jinying left, Long Chen sent a photographic jade to the Huaian sect following that. The entire continent began to buzz. Major affairs had been happening repeatedly during this short time. From the battle in front of the Yun Yang world, Long Chen killing people from the outer branches of the Divine Families in the Grand Xia, the gathering held by Divine Families. Those were all topics of discussion in the cultivation world. However, just after the gathering, before the contents of the gathering even spread, one of the four everlasting families, the Dongfang family, was attacked by the sea demon race. If the photographic jades didn't spread, People wouldn't even believe this news. A huge army of sea demons had poured into the Dongfang family, tearing down buildings, and then Dongfang Yuyang had been caught and slapped hundreds of times until his face swelled up into a pig's head. This photographic jade didn't come from within the Dongfang family, but from someone outside. After all, when the sea demons had come onto the continent in such numbers, they had drawn attention and quite a few people had secretly followed them to see what they were doing. As a result, those people had recorded a shocking scene in photographic jades. Just as people were stunned by this, another photographic jade spread. When that recording spread, people's jaws hit the floor. There were several scenes within that photographic jade. One of them was the scene of Long Chen killing his way into the Eastern Sea. And then there was him demanding an answer from the Sea King as to who had initiated the Beast Tide. The final scene was the most shocking one. In front of multiple Sea Kings, Long Chen had slapped a Sea King repeatedly, while that Sea King had simply received it without daring to move. That final scene made people feel like they were going crazy. He had slapped a Sea King's face? A Sea King was an existence on the same level as Daoist Heavenly Feather. Just what was Long Chen doing? After seeing everything within that photographic jade, people had a general understanding of what was going on. The sea demons had initiated a beast tide, and Long Chen had gone to demand an explanation from the sea demon race. The sea demons said that it was the Dongfang family who had instigated this, and so Long Chen had slapped them. Now the entire continent knew why the sea demon race would attack the Dongfang family and slap Dongfang Yuyang. The beast tide had actually been instigated by the Dongfang family to target Long Chen. Quite an uproar occurred upon that realization. When the beast tide had been initiated, there had been denouncements from throughout the continent against Long Chen. All the damage caused by the beast tide had been counted against Long Chen. But now they realized that it was the Dongfang family who had caused that beast tide and set up Long Chen to take the blame, making it so that he couldn't cultivate peacefully. Upon learning this truth, 
The people's condemnations turned against the Dongfang family. Their noble mask had been ripped off to reveal them as hypocrites. Dongfang Yuyang was especially hated, as he had always acted particularly righteous. The business of high-level treasures that the Dongfang family had bitterly set up was essentially torn down. They received curses from every direction. The one thing that people didn't understand was just where did Long Chen get the confidence to slap a sea king's face? How had he managed to make them not dare to move even as he slapped them? Of course, this question couldn't be asked of the sea demon race. That would be suicide. Long Chen's photographic jade once more shook the continent, and Ku Jinying laughed. This little brat had even hidden this from her. The old man almost passed out from laughter. He then drank dozens of jugs of fine wine to celebrate. The various large powers of the continent also received copies of the photographic jades, but their reactions weren't the same. The Bidang, Nangong, and Zeman families all politely sent condolences, declaring their strong denouncement toward the sea demon race for their barbaric actions. And then there was nothing else. Pill Valley and the others were simply lost. They didn't understand how Long Chen had made it so that the Sea Kings didn't dare to fight back when he slapped them. That scene was too shocking. People kept a close eye on the Dongfang family to see if they would take revenge against the Sea Demon race. But the Dongfang family was silent. Dongfang Yuyang didn't appear again. It was unknown if he had entered seclusion or was busy meditating to adjust his mental state. After all. He had been beaten up in the middle of consolidating his realm and preparing to break through. At the time, there had been signs of him becoming bedeviled. Most likely his Dao heart had received a serious blow. Many people felt that Dongfang Yuyang would slow down his advancement to Nether Passage, because this setback could easily form a heart devil. The Dongfang family didn't say a word, but the divine families did send a warning to the sea demon race, telling them not to cause trouble. After that, the sea demon race fell silent. These tumultuous times finally calmed down. On this day, people came to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's territory. They came from the divine families. Chapter 2230 Starfield Divine World An old man leading a large group of followers wearing robes of the outer branches of the divine families had come. Only the elder had the word divine embroidered on the front of his robes with golden thread indicating he was a true member of the divine families. Although the old man's hair was white, his face was dignified, and he had a lofty stature. His eyes were still bright and contained an obscure revolution of life and death within them. This little one greets the senior from the divine families when the entire cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race was still shocked at the arrival of people from the divine families. Long Chen stepped forward. The elder looked at Long Chen and nodded. Not bad. A wildly arrogant person must have the qualifications to be wildly arrogant. Excellent it seemed that the elder's impression of Long Chen wasn't bad. Long Chen couldn't figure out what exactly this elder's origin was. Please, come in. The elder nodded and followed Long Chen inside. The others of the outer branches followed without a word. These outer branch experts were also in the nether passage realm, and their auras were strong. They were most likely true experts tempered on the battlefield. K. Yuzhu had been intent on accompanying them, but seeing that the elder didn't look at her at all, she decided to take her leave. Long Chen brought the elder into the guest hall. The two sat in the main chairs, but the rest of the outer branches stayed standing. I know that senior must be busy, so I won't waste any time on tea. May I know what guidance you have? Asked Long Chen directly. The elder smiled. Seeming a bit surprised by Long Chen's direct style of conversation, it was truly rare for someone to be able to speak frankly with a figure on his level. He was one of the four members of the Divine Families who had attended the Martial Heaven Gathering hosted by the Divine Families, a peak nether passage expert. It can't count as guidance. After all, you are someone who dares to slap a sea king in the face. I don't have those gods, laughed the elder. Long Chen was startled. It seemed that this elder wasn't hostile to him. In truth, Long Chen was a bit nervous inside. His wings hadn't grown to the point of being able to fight against the divine families, but the pill sovereign's will would not allow him to retreat. If this elder had come in a demanding and overbearing manner, he really didn't know if he would have been able to control his temper. 
They were just tricked by me. Such a little trick isn't worthy of entering Senior's eyes, said Long Chen. He knew that his photographic jade had shocked countless people, but the trick inside it would sooner or later be figured out. Not bad, to be both brazen yet cautious. The Martial Heaven Continent lacks people like you. Little fellow, I have high hopes for you, praised the elder. Many thanks for Senior's praise. Long Chen cupped his fists. All right, let's talk then. I came to discuss a certain matter with you. The current continent is split into two factions, one which strongly supports you and one which views you as its mortal enemy. Both sides are almost like water and fire, and the divine families do not wish to interfere in such a thing. However, since the Dark Era has come and a sovereign has not shown himself, the divine families have no choice but to take up the responsibility of leading the continent's experts against the invading races. Without resolving this conflict, there's no way for both factions to work together against the invaders. The elders of the divine families have discussed it and have come to one way to reconcile things. They wish to have you led the Dragonblood Legion in holding the gates to the Yin Yang world for three days. Why would I do that? Asked Long Chen. The members of the outer branches glared at him. In their eyes, this was completely disgraceful. You brazen. I've always been brazen replied Long Chen coldly. This request was not something he liked the sound of. Long Chen could tell that this was partly due to Pill Valley's influence. Why should he be the only one defending? You. Shut up. The elder stopped that person. You are correct. The invasion of the blood race from the Yun Yang world is the problem of the entire continent. Why should you be the only one to block them? Exactly Long Chen nodded. In truth, this matter doesn't relate to Pill Valley's faction. They only proposed something that made us think. In truth, we also wish for your Dragonblood Legion to defend the Yun Yang world alone. Of course, we will not let you do it for free. What will you give me? There are three things. First, the blood race's experts can be refined into immemorial essence blood. Every 10,000 pure-blooded blood race experts at the Life Star Realm can be refined into one drop of immemorial essence blood. That one drop is extremely precious. An Empyrean who has reached the Life Star Realm can consume one drop of the Immemorial Essence blood to have a chance of stimulating their spirit blood and connecting to their manifestation. Although it won't allow their manifestation to grow to the level of a Heaven Soul manifestation, their combat power will definitely greatly improve. Normally, the bodies of the blood race are shared by the fighters as a reward. But if the Dragon Blood Legion fights on its own, you will be getting all those corpses. No one will have the right to fight over them with you, said the elder. Long Chen hadn't known that the blood race's blood was so special. To be able to refine immemorial essence blood from it was quite shocking. Continue. However, just this one thing wasn't enough to move Long Chen. Although that was enticing, compared to the danger, it didn't seem to be proportional. Second, while consolidating realms, a true life and death battle is a must for real geniuses. It just so happens that the two months until the Yun Yang World Seal breaks are perfect for all the geniuses to consolidate their realms. They can comprehend the essence of life and death. This can be considered a free trial, and I'm sure that after such a battle, a portion of your people would be able to comprehend the mysteries of life and death, said the elder. Long Chen's lips curled. That logic seems a bit forced. Other people's life and death trials are without danger but fighting the blood race will be a true life and death battle. Some will definitely comprehend life and death, because those that don't will be dead. The blood race had definitely been preparing this entire time and had gathered a grand army. Long Chen had seen them through the sovereign seal. After so much time, who knew what the blood race had prepared? This second benefit was completely nonsense. Long Chen, pay attention to your tone. This is one of the divine family's great heaven elders. You should show some respect, said one of the people of the outer branches. The divine family's elders were ranked according to three ranks, heaven, earth, and man, with heaven elders being the highest level. Even these people from the outer branches wouldn't dare to mess around in front of this elder, but Long Chen's words didn't have the slightest respect in them. The outer branches of the divine families had been walking throughout the continent for a while now, and everyone treated them respectfully. 
while the members of the outer branches had to treat the true members of the divine families with even more respect. But Long Chen didn't seem to care about this heaven elder in front of him. The elder frowned slightly and looked at that person. Can you shut your mouth? That member of the outer branch turned pale. All of them shut their mouths, not daring to say another word. The elder turned back to Long Chen. I haven't introduced myself. I am one of the divine family's heaven elders. I have the same surname as you, Long. You can call me Elder Long. Let's continue discussing the previous problem. The second reason truly is a bit forced, but it can still count as a benefit. Let's talk about the third one now. We only ask you to hold on for three days, and after three days, the divine families will replace you. Those are the bloodiest days, and if you can accomplish this mission, the divine families will open the starfield divine world for you. It can be considered a mental world, a sacred cultivation land for nether passage experts. The Starfield Divine World has never been opened to the outside world, but to face the dark era this time, we must join forces. It will be open only to Heaven's soul manifestation experts, and each power on the continent will only have a few spots to enter. If you succeed in your mission this time, then we will give every surviving member of the Dragonblood Legion a spot to enter, said Elder Long. What is the Starfield Divine World? It is an ancient divine world covering a star. There, your soul will form an illusory you, but it will be just like the real you. Within the Starfield Divine World, you can freely comprehend life and death. You can challenge trials. You can kill, and you can die. But those who die will have their souls returned to their physical bodies. Inside that place, you can die ten times. To experience the chance between life and death, such an opportunity doesn't exist on the continent. It will allow your people to rapidly advance, said Elder Long. It could actually allow someone to experience death? That was a good thing that moved Long Chen. However, he still acted indifferent. This bait was quite enticing. Fourth, Long Chen was startled. There was more? Elder Long looked at Long Chen profoundly. If you can accomplish this mission, the Divine Families will consider letting you lead the battle against the Dark Era. Chapter 2231 Once more gathering when Elder Long said this, even those members of the Outer Branches were shocked. Let me lead the battle against the Dark Era. Long Chen shook his head. That's impossible. Pill Valley, the Xuan Beasts, the Ancient Races, the Corrupt Path, the Ancient Family Alliance. They will immediately revolt. What kind of joke was that? If Long Chen were to be the leader, Pill Valley would immediately go crazy. Elder Long smiled. You're overthinking it. This upcoming Dark Era will be split across multiple battlefields. You would only be in charge of one of them. Of course, if you have outstanding talent in that regard and are able to remain impartial, being the head commander isn't out of the question either. However, that would depend on your own abilities. Furthermore, you still haven't agreed to these arrangements, so don't think too much for now. Long Chen knew that the Divine Families had to be a group of old scheming fellows. They were doing this in order to buy him while also appeasing Pill Valley and the others. As for the position of head commander, it meant nothing. It was far from a possibility. Long Chen didn't even consider it. On the other hand, the immemorial essence blood and the Starfield Divine World were very moving. Both of them were important to the Dragonblood Legion. If I agree, will there be people targeting us from behind? Asked Long Chen. Right now, everyone was doing their best to advance as fast as possible. If the Pill Fairy, Kun Pengzi, and Tian Zizi were to break through to Nether Passage during this time, then if the Dragonblood Legion was suddenly attacked, they wouldn't be able to fight back. Elder Long said, Actually, this decision was made in consideration of the entire continent. As everyone attempts to break through, they are actually reducing their chances of breaking through. How can comprehending life and death be rushed? With such haste, you will only have incorrect insights and fall further from the right path. Even if they do comprehend life and death, they will need to study their mental realms and have a heart like water before attempting to break through. So for so many geniuses to be trying to break through as fast as possible is actually contrary to cultivation. Everyone thinks their lives are in danger, so they want to break through quickly. This is not good for the Martial Heaven Continent. 
Who knows how many geniuses will end up being stuck at this bottleneck because of their urgency. That's why I have come here in hopes that everyone can stop their hostility. If you accept this proposal, I will immediately issue the heavenly divine writ saying that if anyone attacks the dragon blood legion, they will be annihilated by the full forces of the divine families. Of course, during that period, the dragon blood legion is also not allowed to attack anyone. You would only be able to initiate an attack if you had a reason that goes through the divine families. This is a guarantee of protection for the entire continent, and this way people will be able to relax. Rather than trying to barge through this bottleneck, they can advance steadily hearing this. Long Chen was much more at ease. With the divine families as a guarantor, everyone could have a ceasefire. That was a good thing. Although Lu Ruyan controlled the life and death essence of the Yun Yang Immortal Grass, allowing 12,000 dragon blood warriors to fully comprehend life and death was something that would take a long time. Requiring everyone to advance together put them at a disadvantage in speed. If the divine families could slow things down, that was good for Long Chen. The dragon blood legion needed time. After thinking about it, Long Chen said, To tell the truth, this proposal is very moving. But there is just one problem. If the other side has an expert on the level of a fourth step nether passage expert such as yourself, we will definitely not be able to hold them. Elder Long smiled. There is no need to worry. If any fourth step nether passage experts mobilize, the divine families will naturally stop them. But you worry too much. Even if the sovereign seal breaks, it will leave behind a remnant sovereign pressure. That sovereign pressure will cling to the blood race's experts, preventing the strongest members of the blood race from passing through. You will most likely be fighting those at the Life Star Realm. At most, Nether Passage experts would only occupy 30% of them, and they would definitely be at the third step or below. When it comes to the blood race, their cultivation base doesn't matter that much. They have geniuses with pure bloodlines. The purer their bloodlines, the stronger they are. They will also come in great numbers. It will be a tough battle Long Chen cupped his fists. Many thanks for your warning. Long Chen felt that this elder Long wasn't bad. Although he seemed stiff and aloof. That was understandable considering his position. Elder Long suddenly sent a spiritual transmission. In truth, the request to have the Dragon Blood Legion fight alone is mostly a show. We haven't restricted your numbers. Understand. Long Chen smiled. It seemed that Elder Long was indicating that he could cheat. If the pressure grew too great, then he could just use some little tricks. For example, recruiting some powerful experts to the Legion. He could pull in any of his friends. What could anyone say? He hadn't broken any rules. He was still defending with just the Dragonblood Legion's people. Many thanks. This time, Long Chen was sincerely grateful. This was basically an unlosable battle to him. The elder smiled faintly and said, So have you agreed? Yes, for such a good thing, I will have to agree. I'm grateful that you've taken such a long journey to come here. If I have the chance, I will definitely repay you. Long Chen cupped his fists in thanks. This reminder from Elder Long basically made Long Chen owe him a favor. However, he had said it spiritually so that the members of the outer branches wouldn't hear it. Long Chen merely vaguely indicated that he would remember this favor. Since that's the case, I will immediately issue the heavenly divine writ. You should prepare yourself. I wish you victory in the upcoming battle Elder Long stood. I'll do my best. Long Chen also stood. He personally sent Elder Long and his people out of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow races territory. As expected, the divine families were very efficient. The very next day. The major powers received the heavenly divine writ. The divine families announced that to placate everyone's rage, Long Chen had promised to defend the gate to the Yun Yang world for three days on his own when the sovereign seal broke. Also, for the next half a year, no one was permitted to attack Long Chen and his dragon blood legion, or they would be going against the heavenly divine writ and publicly offending the divine families. During this time, everyone was to enter a ceasefire. If there were any conflicts, they could be mediated by the divine families. If mediation was ineffective, then a battle would require the consent of the divine families. When the heavenly divine writ came out, the continent, which had been in a deathly silence, 
became lively once more. The various geniuses came out of their seclusion. It was like they had been suffocating underground and finally had a chance to breathe. The cities once more became noisy. Of course, this writ didn't stop conflict, but no one dared to indiscriminately kill people. Even the Blood Kill Hall's assassins could walk out in broad daylight. Even the Righteous Path and the Corrupt Path's experts might be sharing a table before pointing and cursing at the other. The Heavenly Divine Writ released the heavy tension. Everyone had been afraid. Long Chen was afraid that others would advance to Nether Passage first and attack the Dragon Blood Legion, while the others were afraid Long Chen would advance first and destroy them. Long Chen directly gave the Dragon Blood Legion a vacation, telling them to go out and have fun. When Ku Jinying heard that Long Chen was to defend against the Blood Race on his own, she immediately went over to demand details. Only when she learned that Elder Long had discussed this with him did she relax. When she heard that this elder of the divine families had had a good opinion of Long Chen and given him a hidden reminder, she was completely put at ease. The worst case scenario for her was for Long Chen to start fighting the divine families. In truth, it wasn't just the Dragonblood Legion who were given a vacation. Practically all the continent's young disciples were sent out. They were like freed prisoners. The continent gradually entered its liveliest state. People had been stunned by the divine families when they sent out four peak nether passage experts to the martial heaven gathering. No one dared to go against the heavenly divine writ. With their rules, they were very safe. The topic that everyone was discussing now was the matter of Long Chen defending the gate to the yin yang world alone. People guessed that Long Chen had finally caved into pressure and lowered his head to the divine families and pill valley. After all, Whoever fought the blood race would be facing a bloody battle. The first clash would probably be unprecedented throughout history, let alone three days. Even one day would probably be too difficult to hold on. Quite a few people began to cry out at the injustice of it, but there was nothing to be done. This matter was set in stone. Nangong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang came to Long Chen. At that time, only Long Chen, Guo Ran, and Xia Chen remained with everyone else roaming around. They were refining pills, forging armor, and making formation discs respectively. Have you gone crazy? How could you agree to that? Is this any different from suicide? We all stood beside you. So even if you said no, the divine families wouldn't be able to do anything to you. Bidang Rushuang immediately began to shout, her chest bouncing and making Long Chen dizzy. Seeing that Long Chen was actually in the mood to look at her, Bidang Rushuang looked like she was about to beat him up. Long Chen, you've really been impetuous this time. The Dark Era is called the Dark Era because endless armies will invade, not letting us see the slightest light, the slightest hope. Nangong Zuiyu sighed. Although they knew that Long Chen was powerful, the Dragonblood Legion would definitely take heavy losses in this battle. They didn't wish to see such a thing. They came over to see if there was any way they could help. Long Chen was grateful. He did have a few friends on this continent who would stand beside him at a critical moment. He told them about Elder Long's words and even subtly indicated that he might accept them into the Dragonblood Legion, making their eyes brighten. All right, I'll let my people to join at that time. But remember, the rewards better not be lacking my portion. Bidang Rushuang's tone immediately changed. She was also set on that immemorial essence blood. Haha, <laughs> even if you didn't come. I'd have to come and beg for Fairy Rushuang's help, joked Long Chen. If he really couldn't hold on any longer, then the Martial Heaven Alliance, the Nangong family, and the Bidang family would be the second line. Long Chen was confident in being able to carry out this mission. Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuiyu left. Long Chen continued working. Time passed quickly, and half a month later, the Dragonblood Legion gathered once more. Chapter 2232 Let this little one handle it. The Dragonblood Legion had finished consolidating their realms. After their vacation where they relaxed, Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Gu Yang, and the others had vaguely touched the barrier of comprehending life and death. Their comprehension of life and death grew clearer with every passing day. That was thanks to Lu Ruian. The yin-yang energy left by the yin-yang immortal grass had many aspects corresponding to life and death. However, every person's comprehension and understanding of life and death was different. 
Every person had to rely on themselves. Many of the Dragonblood warriors were still in a hazy state when it came to comprehending life and death. This was a tough process that couldn't be rushed. Just as Elder Long had said, haste would only slow them down. After this adjustment, the Dragonblood warriors' comprehension speed ended up increasing. Boss, we're ready. Before Long Chen said anything, Guo Ran already opened his mouth. Loudmouth, you made me forget what I was saying. Cursed Long Chen. The Dragonblood warriors laughed. Gu Yang cried out. Boss, the Dragonblood warriors live for battle. Our blood's boiling already. Fine, then I won't say anything. Let's move out. Long Chen waved his hand. Kei Yuzhu and the others were already prepared, and summoning their true bodies. They brought the Dragonblood warriors flying toward the Yun Yang world. There were still many days until the seal broke, but Long Chen wanted to prepare things in advance. Upon arriving, they saw that many people had set up camp in the distance. It seemed that they had been waiting here for a while now. Fuck. They all came here to watch the show? Are we dancing monkeys? Cursed Guo Ran. Not all of them. This isn't a game. If we can't hold on, the other major powers will be forced to take action. The blood race cannot be allowed to break through, said Long Chen. At that time, Elder Long had already put it clearly. If he failed, then his reward would be gone. Long Chen was allowed to retreat at any time and allow others to block for him. However, that matter was not to be mentioned to the rest of the world. He was to keep that to himself. If he could pull it off, then good. If he couldn't, then he shouldn't force himself. Novaloon.com Long Chen had only agreed because he had a way out. It could be said that these conditions were very favorable to him. When the Dragonblood Legion arrived, it caused a ruckus. Various experts flew out from their camps to look at Long Chen. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, I believe in you. You are the strongest warrior of the Martial Heaven continent. Just this heroism is something no one else can compare to, declared one of the righteous experts. Who else can remain calm facing the endless blood race? This heroism for the Martial Heaven continent, it is comparable to the sovereigns. Many righteous experts began to cheer Long Chen on. That was because many of the sects that had betrayed the Martial Heaven Alliance were now essentially empty places. Their elite disciples had left to rejoin the Martial Heaven Alliance. That was because of Yi Lingxian's promise. As long as they swore to fight for the lives of the continent, then the Martial Heaven Alliance's doors would be open to them. The battle in front of the Yun Yang world had shown the true faces of the major powers. For some personal profit, the leaders of many sects had been bought by Pill Valley making them betray the Martial Heaven Alliance. So many people had been bought that even the Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet had been suppressed. Thinking of that, the disciples of those sects were filled with regret. They hated the higher-ups of their sects for their selfishness and stupidity. In comparison, they felt Long Chen and Yi Lingxian to be of unshackable integrity. Even in the face of such opposition, they had not cowered. Facing the Coalition Army, facing the Sea Demon Army, Facing the Emperor's heroic spirits, he had never frowned. He had faced them all bravely, unafraid of death, and this aspect had profoundly touched these disciples. They were all cultivators, who didn't have dreams, who didn't want to be a hero. Those disciples no longer wished to stay in their sects and live as opportunists seeking nothing but profit. They had left their sects after the battle and joined the Martial Heaven Alliance. Some of the disciples from one sect had been surrounded by the experts of their sect and forced to submit. In their rage, those disciples had actually chosen to self-detonate. That news had shaken the righteous path. On that very day, Yi Lingxian had gone to that sect and killed the ones who had surrounded those disciples. She had taken back the corpses of those disciples. At the time, Yi Lingxian had said that any disciples who had the Martial Heaven Alliance in their hearts were disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance. If anyone dared to interfere in their freedom, the Martial Heaven Alliance would immediately tear down that sect. Yi Lingxian had truly shocked people on that day. All the ones who had participated in stopping the disciples, including the sect leader, were personally killed by her. Pill Valley had sent people ahead of time, but Yi Lingxian had pointed her sword at those people stating that this matter was a private matter of the righteous path, and if anyone dared to interfere, the Martial Heaven Alliance would not mind going to war. 
the experts from Pill Valley were scared away. After all, Yi Lingxin was not Ku Jinying. Who knew what she might do? From then onward, some of the sects that had betrayed the Martial Heaven Alliance began to ask to rejoin, but they were all rejected by Yi Lingxin. Her reasoning was that the Martial Heaven Alliance had given them two chances. The first rejection could be blamed on ignorance, but the second rejection was unforgivable. The Martial Heaven Alliance would never accept them again, so they could go back to their own homes. If they were bullied by others, they had better think of their own ways of dealing with it. Yi Lingxin's gentle and tough methods combined had made it so the sects no longer dared to stop their disciples. They could only urge the latter to stay based on loyalty. However, the majority of those disciples were too disappointed in their sects, and so they chose to leave. They chose a new life. Staying there didn't let them see any hope. Yi Lingxin's methods had made Ku Jinying sigh emotionally. She sighed over how she had grown old. The older she grew, the more cautious she was. But youngsters had the drive to dare to do anything. A leader needed that courage. She finally felt ready to leave her position to Yi Lingxin. Even as countless righteous experts were filled with worship at the sight of Long Chen and the Dragonblood Legion, a voice of dissent could be heard. It's his own fault, and it's simply a matter of course for him to deal with the consequences. How did that become being a hero in your mouths? Isn't the reason he's coming out because he feels guilty? If he didn't feel guilty, would he come out? The speaker was someone from the ancient family alliance. As soon as he said this, countless sharp sword-like gazes pierced into him. If looks could kill, he'd have been turned into minced meat. He had intentionally spoken loudly so that everyone could hear him. That included Long Chen and the others. Long Chen looked at him. He was an Empyrean. His manifestation had awakened, but it was not a heaven's soul manifestation, and his spirit blood had not awakened. Seeing Long Chen looking his way, he sneered, fearlessly continuing. What are you looking at? Am I not allowed to speak the truth? It's trouble that you caused, so you should clean it up. Do you need others to praise you for this? What? You want to kill me to silence the truth? Don't forget, the continent is in a ceasefire. The heavenly divine writ has already been issued. Do you dare to go against the heavenly divine writ? Long Chen slowly raised his hand and pointed a finger at that person, stunning everyone. That was a clear sign he was about to kill. That person immediately panicked, shouting, I'm just saying the truth. If you kill me, it will be a public provocation of the divine family's boss. Such a minor figure isn't worth you personally handling. This little one is willing to handle him. Guo Ran stepped forward, not waiting for Long Chen to reply. He appeared in front of that person in an instant. Long Chen had been intent on killing this loathsome fellow. He didn't care about people's misunderstandings about him, and he didn't care to explain himself. But every person had a temper, and the pill sovereign's will within him was especially easy to provoke. However, he hadn't expected Guo Ran to be even faster than him. The most shocking thing was that Guo Ran didn't even have his armor on. It was unknown just how he was doing this. Guo Ran arrived in front of that guy in an instant, his left hand punching toward his nose. But that person reacted quickly, twisting back, dodging. The unexpected thing though was that Guo Ran's punch was a fake. His right hand was the true attack, and it slapped that person across the face. Long Chen and the others were shocked. When did Guo Ran become an expert in close-range battle? Without his armor, his combat power should be essentially zero. That person was dizzy from being slapped. Before he could recover, Guo Ran grabbed his hair. Who let you talk crap? Guo Ran smashed his knee into that person's face three times in a row, causing a crunching sound that made people wince. That person's head almost exploded. When did Guo Ran become so amazing? Gu Yang and the others stared in shock as if they didn't recognize Guo Ran. How was he so powerful without his armor? His movements were free and flowing. It was like he was a true master. Guo Ran noticed many flaws in his armor from the last fight, said Xia Chen. He found many areas where his soft armor was sluggish when joining with his battle armor. After going back, he changed many parts of his soft armor and added some special runes based on boss's fighting style. Doesn't Guo Ran's current fighting style look a bit similar to bosses? Hearing that explanation, everyone came to a sudden understanding. 
No wonder Guo Ran's movements looked a bit familiar. It truly did look a bit similar to Long Chen's fighting style. So he was imitating the boss. Boom. Guo Ran sent that person flying with a kick. Looking down on him from above, he arrogantly said, I, Guo Ran, will not kill some nameless fool. Report your name so I can see if you're qualified for me to kill you. Chapter 2233 Shen Chen Feng Hao Brazen Who dares to kill people during the ceasefire of the heavenly divine writ? Just at this moment, a group of people appeared wearing robes of the divine family's outer branches. They were all nether passage elders and gloomy faced. They were looking coldly at Long Chen. Long Chen, don't be foolish. If you dare to kill people indiscriminately, you will force us to subdue you under the heavenly divine writ, warned one of those elders. Ha 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 ha. The disciple of the ancient family alliance pointed at Guo Ran and cursed. Just a dog also dares to shout. Weren't you very arrogant? Didn't you want to kill me? Then come. The arrival of the divine family's outer branches made the disciple feel like he had a backer. A backer strong enough for him to be arrogant. Boss, what do we do? Demanded Guo Ran furiously. Long Chen icily replied. Do you even need to ask? Is the dragon blood legion ever afraid? Kill him. Kill whoever blocks you. Arrogance the elders were infuriated. But before they could do anything. Guo Ran transformed into a streak of light that appeared in front of the disciple. His speed was even greater than when he had first moved. That disciple was horrified, not expecting that Long Chen would dare to kill him with even the outer branches of the divine families appearing. He barely had time to take out a divine item before being cut in two. Blood splashed. His head was cut off by Guo Ran's saber. Holding his head, Guo Ran returned to Long Chen's side. His movements were very clean. Everyone had to admit that the current Guo Ran looked quite suave. Elder Zhao Fang, save me, cried that disciple's head. That shout made Long Chen's gaze turn even colder. He looked at the head elder, while that elder's expression immediately changed. However, he forced himself to remain calm, and he shouted, Long Chen, release him or don't blame us for not being courteous Long Chen directly pressed a finger against that disciple's forehead and conducted his soul sark. That disciple's soul twisted and tore itself apart. He was dead. Long Chen had actually ignored their warning and the heavenly divine writ, shocking the various righteous experts. Just what was he planning on doing? Long Chen, the elders' expressions completely changed. Long Chen was publicly challenging the dignity of the divine families. Shut up. If you keep talking, I'll kill you all, shouted Long Chen, his killing intent overflowing. His killing intent was so powerful that even these elders shivered. His gaze was like a blade. Looking at the one called Zhao Fang, he demanded, Speak. Why would you target me? Through his soul sark, he learned that this person had only provoked him because Zhao Fang had told him to. He was the one behind this. Long Chen had just come to an agreement with the divine families, and they already did something like this to him. Just what were they doing? What what are you talking about? Shouted Zhao Fang, his voice shuddering in the face of Long Chen's killing intent. You refuse to say? Then we can do a soul sark. Long Chen stepped forward. The other elders were infuriated. They didn't know what was going on. But to attack members of the outer branches of the divine families was an insult to all of them. They unleashed attacks. They were third step nether passage experts. But as soon as they tried to stop Long Chen, they revealed their true power. They were truly a group of people with empty realms. They had the cultivation base but not the corresponding power. With a single punch, those elders were blasted back, coughing up blood. They almost died from that single punch. HMPH, a bunch of old sticks raised like princes. You dare to stop my boss? Truly courting death. Gu Yang and the others sneered. So these elders were nothing more than decoration. They weren't true experts. Zhao Feng crushed a teleportation talisman in his terror. But before the talisman could take effect, Long Chen had grabbed his neck, holding him like a chicken. Speak. Why did you target me? I'll give you one chance or I'll use a soul sark. Long Chen's finger was already pressed against Zhao Feng's forehead. Just at this moment, yellow liquid flowed out of Zhao Feng's pants. The experts present looked at each other oddly. 
This previously supreme and arrogant expert of the outer branches of the divine families had pissed himself in fear? A bad smell filled the air. Long Chen almost blasted Zhao Feng to pieces, but it seemed that Zhao Feng had some status, so Long Chen didn't want to kill him before being sure of what had happened. Are you speaking? demanded Long Chen. I'll tell. I'll tell. Zhao Feng was just opening his mouth when the sky twisted. A giant formation disc appeared along with tens of thousands of experts. Experts of the divine family's startled cries rang out. These people were wearing robes of the divine families. Although they were also third-step nether passage experts, their auras were ten times more condensed than these elders. Long Chen, what is going on? A middle-aged man gloomily walked out. He was tall and broad-shouldered and had a square face with sideburns. His gaze was sharp and bright, giving Long Chen a sense of pressure. This was Long Chen's first time feeling such a strong pressure from a third-step nether passage expert. This person had to be extremely powerful. May I ask who you are? Asked Long Chen cautiously. I am Shen Chen Feng. I was sent by Elder Long to oversee the upcoming battle against the blood race. What are you doing? The battle hasn't even started, and you're already killing people. Are you disregarding the divine families? Demanded Shen Chen Feng. Before Long Chen could speak, the other elders of the outer branches began to shout. Reporting to Elder Shen, we saw Long Chen acting wildly and unreasonable. Disregarding the heavenly divine writ shut up. I wasn't asking you. Shen Chen Feng glanced at them furiously, making them instantly shut up. Shen Chen Feng looked at Long Chen, looking like he required a reasonable explanation. There were also tens of thousands of nether passage experts behind him looking at Long Chen. They didn't say a word, but the killing intent coming from them was ice cold. Long Chen instantly realized that these people were the backup that the divine families had left for this place. If he couldn't defend this place or something unexpected happened, they would handle the blood race. However, the battle had yet to start. They had been summoned by a secret art from the outer branches, and seeing Long Chen holding the neck of one of the members of the outer branches, they were naturally angry. Long Chen answered, Why are you asking me? I should be the one asking you. If the divine families have already agreed to place the dragon blood legion here, why are the divine families still making trouble for us? Why did you send someone to antagonize me? Do the divine families like using these kinds of sinister schemes? Who is using sinister schemes? Speak clearly. If you're just trying to tarnish the name of the divine families, then even if I have to be punished by Elder Long, I'll have to punish you first, said Shen Chen Feng coldly. Since you're sent here by Elder Long, I'll trust you for now. I'll leave this person to you. You can ask him what he did, sneered Long Chen, tossing Zhao Feng to Shen Chen Feng. Shen Chen Feng grabbed him and frowned. The scene from Zhao Feng pissing himself irritated him. The face of the divine families had been lost by him. Speak. What happened? demanded Shen Chen Feng. Having escaped from Long Chen's devil grasp, Zhao Feng's guts grew again. He angrily said, it was Long Chen indiscriminately killing someone Shen Chen Feng directly slapped Zhao Feng, making his skin split open, killing intent raged in his eyes, if you still don't tell the truth, I'll be the one doing the soul sark, I just came from the ancient battlefield, and I don't want to hear your nonsense, Shen Chen Feng was an earth elder of the divine families, that was a high status, and he was actually the youngest of all the earth elders. He was also someone Elder Long had high aspirations for, or he wouldn't have sent him to guard this place. Shen Chen Feng was a true expert that had killed his way out of a pile of dead people. Could Zhao Feng really hide his spiritual fluctuations from him? To lie in front of him even after all this, Shen Chen Feng was a hair away from killing Zhao Feng himself. Zhao Feng shuddered and almost pissed himself again. His voice quivered as he said, It was Elder Yi's orders. I was to find some way to antagonize Long Chen. Which Elder Yi? Shen Chen Feng's expression changed. Elder Yi Yeo Chen. Shen Chen Feng's expression grew uglier once more, and he suddenly slapped Zhao Feng with such force that he exploded. The other elders were stunned. Even now, they didn't understand what was going on. They did know an Elder Yi Yeo Chen. He was also an Earth Elder. But why would he target Long Chen? After killing Zhao Feng. Although Shen Chen Feng's expression was still gloomy, 
his killing intent had vanished. Turning to Long Chen, he had mixed emotions on his face. Can we find some place to talk? Chapter 2234 All living things are chess pieces I will represent the divine families in apologizing to you over this matter. Shen Chen Feng and Long Chen left the entrance to the Yun Yang world and found a secluded place. Shen Chen Feng sighed. Whether or not you apologize doesn't mean anything to me. What I want to know is why they would target me. Who is Yi Yeo Chen? Asked Long Chen. Shen Chen Feng hesitated. He shook his head. This matter is too complicated. It is not convenient for me to say anything about it. But don't worry, Elder Long has a very high opinion of you. That's why he called me out of the ancient battlefield. But I can tell you this much. Take advantage of this chance. The Starfield Divine World is extremely important to Nether Passage experts. Before coming, I investigated you. There was one thing you said that I like. Cultivation is to live with dignity. But in this world, just living is already very difficult. As for living with dignity, that's even harder. Hence, work hard to obtain your spots in the Starfield Divine World this time. It will not only allow you to live longer, but it will also give your voice greater priority. Shen Chen Feng didn't directly talk about what had caused this. It seemed that it was taboo to him. Then I want to know, if such a thing happens again, what will you do? Asked Long Chen. Don't worry, I will warn them. Such a matter will definitely not occur within the short term. Guaranteed Shen Chen Feng. It wouldn't happen in the short term. Meaning it would happen in the future? Long Chen seemed to have grasped something. The waters in the interior of the divine families were very deep. I don't like being a chess piece for others. Long Chen shook his head. Shen Chen Feng smiled. Heaven and earth are the board. And all living things are the game pieces. All people have their own destinies set for themselves. Isn't working hard at cultivation means to get stronger to jump out of the chessboard and find a different destiny? Without power, you will not be qualified to jump out of the chessboard. No one can escape being a chess piece, except at the final moment where we see if a chess piece can escape its fate and become the player moving the pieces. Long Chen was startled and looked at Shen Chen Feng more closely. He hadn't expected him to have such a sharp view of the world. Thank you for your advice. Long Chen cupped his fists. Shen Chen Feng shook his head. You're too courteous. I was born at the wrong time, and it has worn down my sharpness. A chess piece remains a chess piece. But you, you have maintained your sharpness. It seems that your character will not change. So there are only two possibilities. Either you manage to escape the board, or you will be destroyed. I hope it's the former, so don't let any chances to get stronger slip by you. Opportunities lie within danger. The greater the danger, the greater the opportunity. It will depend on whether or not you can pass it or not. Long Chen nodded. He felt that Shen Chen Feng was not bad. The person that Elder Long had sent was similar to him. How about you let this matter pass like this? Once you are stronger, you can handle it yourself, proposed Shen Chen Feng. Since you put it this way, what can I say? Long Chen shrugged. If he kept making a fuss about this matter, demanding an explanation from the divine families would be rude. Shen Chen Feng was clearly protecting him on this matter. Long Chen felt that the divine families definitely had people from outside the world. He didn't know their secrets. Perhaps this matter was related to their own internal conflict. Just as Shen Chen Feng said, quiddling over this was meaningless. In fact, forcing it might be unfavorable to him, since Shen Chen Feng had said to let it go and wait until he was stronger to avenge it, Long Chen could only accept it. Shen Chen Feng smiled and turned to leave. However, after a few steps, he suddenly paused and looked back. The interior of the divine families is complicated, but Elder Long has always been impartial and is a true man. If you have difficulties, he will help you. Look after yourself. Long Chen nodded and cupped his fists. For Shen Chen Feng to actually say such a thing, he could be viewed as a friend. Shen Chen Feng left with his men, but not before scolding the people from the outer branches, saying not to activate the forbidden emergency signal for such unimportant matters. When one of them mentioned that Long Chen had gone against the Heavenly Divine Writ, Shen Chen Feng sneered. The Heavenly Divine Writ clearly stated that no one was allowed to attack Long Chen. Those attacks included words, 
After saying that, Shen Chen Feng left, leaving the members of the outer branches gloomy. Hey, aren't you very arrogant? Keep being arrogant Guo Ran laughed at them. The people of the outer branches were nothing more than dogs of the true divine families. All they knew to do was use the prestige of their masters to intimidate others. You, the members of the outer branches trembled in fury. What you? Did you not hear the words of your master? No one is allowed to attack the dragon blood legion. Even words can constitute an attack. Are you cursing me? Taunted Guo Ran. The other experts that had come were all stunned. The divine families were actually so protective of Long Chen that they didn't even care about him killing members of the outer branches. They also saw that Zhao Feng had been used by someone else. It seemed that the one who had used him had quite a status, to the point that Shen Chen Feng was unable to do anything to them over this matter. This matter was settled like this. However, after this, no one dared to be the slightest bit disrespectful to Long Chen. Long Chen was unafraid of the divine families, and no rules could restrict him. If they provoked him, that would purely be courting death. HMPH. The members of the outer branches turned to leave. Hold it. Long Chen suddenly opened his mouth. What what do you want? We haven't provoked you. Their expressions instantly changed. The divine families told me they would send someone to cooperate with us. Long Chen sneered at their frightened appearance. They only knew how to bully the weak. Hearing that, those elders sighed with relief. One of them said, We'll send someone later. I want them now. If you stall my important affairs, are you able to accept the consequences? Shouted Long Chen. He was worried about these old bastards stalling. We'll arrange things within two hours, said the elder with no other choice. He really had been planning on dragging this out until Long Chen had to acknowledge them. The person that the divine families were sending was an expert on the blood race's history and combat power. They had to be skilled in differentiating the different members of the blood race and their divine abilities. That was very important to Long Chen. They weren't worried about Long Chen not coming to them for such an important asset. But Long Chen had easily seen through that little ploy. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, if you need anything from us, just ask. One of the Righteous Paths experts ran forward. Yes, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Although we can't participate in the battle, whatever you need as support is no problem. We can do it. Novaloon.com that's right. We can help out. Please senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Don't be courteous with such a huge battle coming. The Dragonblood warriors should rest. Leave the work to us. More and more of the Righteous Paths experts ran over. Although they wore robes of their various sects, they all had the word alliance embroidered on the front of their robes. They were all on the same side, facing these people's ardent emotions. Long Chen smiled. Many thanks, brothers. It just so happens we need to arrange some things, and we might need your help. But let me say this first. There are no wages, but there's good wine and food. Ha ha ha. All right. To drink with the Martial Heaven Continent's number one legion will be enough for me to brag for a lifetime. All right, then brothers, we're going to rest. Once we discuss and confirm things, we can work together, said Long Chen. The righteous disciples returned to their tents excitedly, waiting for Long Chen's summons. Those tents were transportation formations capable of connecting to their sects. If anything happened... The experts from those sects could immediately come here as reinforcements. Long Chen didn't bother setting up a transportation formation. There was no need to. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow races experts didn't need much time at all to fly over. Long Chen walked over to the entrance of the Yunyang world. The space here was quivering, and the sovereign seal was already starting to dim. The inside was a mass of primal chaos. It was impossible to see through it. Xia Chen and Guo Ran got to work, surveying the terrain. They needed to make the most arrangements. During this battle, there could be no failure, as it would relate to the lives of the Dragonblood warriors. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, I was assigned to you by the fifth elder. Suddenly, a shy voice rang out. Long Chen looked back to see a short, slightly dark-faced woman standing nervously there. Long Chen instantly understood that the old idiots from the divine families had sent him a completely ordinary person to anger him. Those old fellows really were idiots. Don't be afraid. K. 
can I ask if those old fellows don't like me? Asked Long Chen. Chapter 2235 In Distinct History The woman was uneasy at being asked that. But in the end, she nodded. Someone like that is able to be an elder? The higher-ups of the outer branches must be blind. Sneered Long Chen. They wanted to play such a ridiculous game with him? This was far too immature for Long Chen. The woman was too nervous to even speak in front of Long Chen. Afraid of angering him. Tell me. Do you understand the blood race? Yes. The woman seemed to have found some hope. I was first place in history in the college. The college. Long Chen was startled. Through her explanation. Long Chen learned that she was called Li Jing and was someone with no background. No support to rely on within the outer branches. She had a bit of talent but was never given an important position. She was even squeezed out by others. To use her words. Someone ugly with no background wasn't viewed favorably no matter how hard they worked. When she had been sent here to Long Chen's side, she had first been delighted, thinking that her efforts were finally being rewarded. Only when she saw the way that other people were looking at her did she sense something wrong. Then when she heard that the outer branches had created enmity with Long Chen, she understood that they had pushed her into a fiery pit. Unfortunately, the elders refused to let her run away even saying that if she didn't do well, she would be expelled from the outer branches. She had come here knowing that she was most likely going to die. Hearing this, Long Chen didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Was he really so frightening? I don't understand. If you're so afraid of death, why not leave? The world is so big, and you are a life star expert. You can live happily no matter where you go, said Long Chen. I've never interacted with the outside world. I'm afraid. Li Jing lowered her head. She wasn't afraid of walking toward death but was afraid of the foreign outside world? Long Chen couldn't quite comprehend that thinking. You don't need to be afraid. Those old bastards might want to screw with me, but I won't make things hard on you. I've arranged things with the divine families to have someone with knowledge about the blood race with me in battle. Since you say you understand them, I'll trust you for now. Why don't you tell me about the blood race's history, their combat power, and their experts, said Long Chen. He was testing Li Jing. If she actually knew nothing about the blood race, he would immediately go to the outer branches and drag out those elders. He wouldn't stop until he had slapped them to the point that their heads reflected their dog-like nature. Hearing this, Li Jing brightened. She even seemed to grow more confident. The blood race comes from the blood pool star field. They cultivate bloodline divine abilities, and powerful runes flow within their blood. Their blood contains all their power. Their realms aren't much different from those of the human race. The only difference is that the core of their power isn't in their dantians but in their hearts. Based on the records, they have 93 races with various talents. They can be roughly split into three. Li Jing did seem to be a master of this particular knowledge and she gave Long Chen a detailed explanation of the blood race. She knew how to differentiate them and what kind of special attacks they had, which ones were specialized in physical power, which were specialized in spiritual attacks. She knew them all. Long Chen ended up gathering all the dragon blood warriors so that they could all listen. Only once they were familiar with their enemies could they come up with a strategy. Young lady, you're not bad. You know a lot, praised Long Chen. This Li Jing was truly useful. She not only knew history, but she even had some of her own opinions sprinkled in amongst her information, which related to their weaknesses. Although they had yet to even start fighting against the blood race, just relying on Long Chen's own experience and Li Jing's conjecture, they could come up with a battle plan. Many thanks for senior apprentice brother Long Chen's praise. All my years of studying are finally being useful. Hopefully. Others won't laugh at me in the future. After talking with Long Chen for so long, she found that he wasn't as terrifying as what she had heard. She didn't sense any feeling of disgust toward her looks, and she found that not one member of the Dragonblood Legion looked down on her. They were all listening seriously. It seems that we need to thank those old fellows. Your knowledge is very useful for us, said Long Chen. My mother said that an ugly person has to study. It seems that she was right. Even Li Jing began to joke around in the Dragonblood Legion's LAX atmosphere. Looks can't be eaten, but actual ability can. You don't need to sell yourself short. 
Plus, you aren't even ugly, said Long Chen. It was true. Li Jing wasn't ugly. She would probably be viewed as average. But in this world, there were many ways of improving one's looks. In a world of beautiful girls, she ended up appearing ugly. The fact that she didn't go around changing her looks showed that she had her own strong views about this. Dark Lady Cough. You don't mind if I call you this, right? Asked Guo Ran awkwardly. Meng Chi and the others glared at Guo Ran. Who would call someone by their short point like this? It's fine. Dark Lady's a lot better than what I get called normally. Li Jing waved her hand. No, I just think Dark Lady makes us feel especially close, don't you think? Explained Guo Ran. It's fine. You can all call me Dark Lady or Dark Girl. Said Li Jing indifferently. That's right. Everyone can call each other what you want. For example, that Baldi. You can call him Bald Brother or Big Brother Shiny. These two also have dark faces. And you can call them Earth Brothers. As for my handsome and stylish self. You can call my Big Brother Handsome. Gu Yang. Li Qi. And Song Ming imitated vomiting making others laugh. Dark sister, why are you crying? I won't call you dark anymore if you don't like it. Li Jing is fine. Guo Ran suddenly saw Li Jing crying. No, it's just, I have no friends. Others only bullied me. Li Jing tried to hold back her crying. Li Jing had her own story. She had always been squeezed out of things amongst the outer branches. She was getting emotional with everyone joking around here. Dark sister, don't be afraid. I'll make you a powerful set of armor that will allow you to crush anyone who bullies you. Promised Guo Ran. No, no. Li Jing hastily waved her hand. Clearly, she didn't like fighting. Long Chen glared at Guo Ran, making him stop teasing this guileless woman. He waved his hand, sending Guo Ran and the others back to work. Now that they knew more about the blood race, they could finish their preparations. When Long Chen was alone with Li Jing, he asked. I'm curious, why would the blood race attack the martial heaven continent they want our root chi? The blood race has spirit blood, but it lacks spirit roots. If they take our spirit roots, through some special methods, they can create their own spirit roots for themselves, just like how we refine them into immemorial essence blood, answered Li Jing. Only then did Long Chen understand. It felt that the blood race viewed the martial heaven continent as a pasture. They wanted their spirit roots. Then what do you know about the Devil Spirit Mountain's Devil Race? Asked Long Chen. I'm sorry senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Before coming, the elders warned me that I was only permitted to answer questions relating to the Blood Race. Everything else is forbidden that's fine. I was just curious. It's not too important. Long Chen hastily comforted her, knowing that she felt bad. He wasn't about to force her to betray her orders. Long Chen continued asking about the blood race. He also asked about how Sovereign Mo Li had suppressed the blood race. According to Li Jing, back then, the blood race had occupied over 50% of the central plains. That battle had lasted over 10 years, with rivers of blood flowing. Sovereign Mo Li had risen at that time, charging to the peak of the martial path and leading the experts of the continent against the blood race. In the end, he killed the leader of the blood race and sealed the entrance to the yin-yang world. However, the passage between the two worlds had mysterious origins, and eventually, every now and then, the yang world would face the continent, allowing the continent's experts to enter the yin-yang world. The blood race used the yin-yang world as their garden, but the continent's experts had then started plucking their fruit. There were many inexplicable aspects about this, aspects that even Li Jing didn't know. The information within the ancient records had many holes that couldn't be explained with just logic. Even the divine family's history is incomplete asked Long Chen. Long Chen was growing wary. Were the historical records really incomplete or someone had intentionally concealed a portion of history to mislead people? Or was it that because of the sovereigns, there were many things that couldn't be exposed? Long Chen felt that this world was hiding far too many secrets. Just as Long Chen and Li Jing were talking, more and more experts gathered here. Xia Chen and Guo Ran had already discussed it and wanted to start setting up their arrangements. During this battle, there couldn't be the slightest mistake. Chapter 2236 Everyone Pitching in Brothers. Work hard. There'll be wine and meat at night. 
Kuo Ran and Xia Chen were directing the righteous paths experts who had come to help. They had built giant crisscrossing channels in the earth so deep that they required earth cultivators to strengthen and stabilize. Every channel had dozens of formations set up within it. Originally, this work was supposed to be left for the Dragonblood Warriors, but with such a big battle coming, the Dragonblood Warriors needed to focus and prepare themselves to make sure they stayed in their peak state. It just so happened that since many people wanted to help, they could rest. Furthermore, if Long Chen rejected them, it would be rude. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, aren't you afraid that some of these people don't have good intentions? Li Jing had become Long Chen's attendant. Seeing Long Chen using strangers for such important work, she couldn't help giving him a warning. If there was the slightest slip or hole in a formation, it could cause a catastrophe. Long Chen smiled. Kindness is rare. We're only letting them do the most basic work. The details will all be left to Xia Chen and Guo Ran to complete. Furthermore, such an intricate grand formation requires over 10 full inspections and various tests to confirm its perfection. If Li Jing could think of it, then Long Chen could as well. Although the current righteous path had reached an unprecedented unity, with so many people, no one dared to say that there weren't some undercover agents. When Long Chen had asked Xia Chen if it was possible for someone to mess with his formations during the building process, Xia Chen had directly and arrogantly said that if someone was capable of such a thing right under his gaze, he would have to kowtow and beg to become their apprentice. Since Xia Chen was so confident, Long Chen was happy to let the Dragonblood Warriors rest. They still had plenty of time. After a day of work, they could drink. As a result, these righteous disciples ended up celebrating to a crazy extent. The meat they were eating belonged to peak 12th rank magical beasts. The wine that they were drinking came from the Wine God Palace. It had to be known that the Wine God Palace's wine was something that they hadn't dared to even dream of being able to taste. This wine contained its own special realms inside. When drinking it, they only dared to sip it slowly to fully savor it. As for the wine that Long Chen had gotten out of Tu Kai and Shang, it was so intense that one disciple ended up catching fire after drinking it, scaring the others into not daring to try it. They worked during the day and drank during the night. They could even talk and laugh with a peerless expert like Long Chen. These righteous disciples had never dreamed of such a thing. As for the experts that had come from other powers, they could only swallow their saliva as the scents of wine and meat drifted their way. They didn't dare to make a sound. After one night, more righteous experts came running over to offer their help. Some of those disciples had sent news back to their sects that there was wine to drink and meat to eat here. They could even listen to Long Chen's comprehension about cultivation. Hence, the righteous path's disciples flocked to this place. Some even exited seclusion just to come over. You're all not cultivating Long Chen was startled to see the number of righteous disciples that had run over. There were over 800,000 of them. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. We came to work. I heard there's wine and meat. Plus we can hear you expound on the Tao. That's way better than cultivating. Said one person excitedly. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Don't worry. If there are too many of us. We won't eat or drink your meat and wine. Just helping you is enough. Seeing so many of the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples, Long Chen bitterly smiled. Rather than properly cultivating, you came over here to eat and drink? If Yi Lingxin knew this, wouldn't she choke me to death? It's fine. I already said that they could open their stomachs until you're destitute suddenly. Yi Lingxin walked over like a fairy, surrounded by a group of experts. Long Chen was surprised that Ji Lingxin had also come. He hastily went over, putting on an act. This lowly Long Chen greets the Great Alliance head. At this time, Ji Lingxin had already put her hair into a bun, indicating that it wouldn't be long before she was bestowed the crown of the head of the Martial Heaven Alliance. However, the coronation was an important ceremony. Hence, during this time, Yi Lingxin would receive more and more of Ku Jianying's responsibilities and was starting to feel the pressure. The Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples laughed along with Yi Lingxin. Long Chen, you're now a figure that shakes the entire Martial Heaven continent. When will you start acting like a senior no matter how great my fame? Don't I still have to listen to the Alliance head's orders? 
I have to suck up whenever I can for fear of you making things hard on me in the future, said Long Chen. In front of outsiders, Long Chen always made his position clear with Yi Lingxian, being her subordinate. While many people knew that his position in the righteous path far exceeded Yi Lingxian's, this show of his made it clear that Yi Lingxian was the true alliance head. Although the Martial Heaven Alliance was now united, there couldn't be two leaders. If that wasn't made clear, others might seek to drive in a wedge. Since Long Chen had chosen to reject Ku Jianying's suggestion back then, he had to be satisfied not being the leader. Even a green leaf had a purpose and had to know how to set off the flower. That was how to be a good leaf. Yi Lingxian also knew Long Chen's intentions and was not worried about Long Chen fighting over her position. If he really wanted it, she would immediately offer it to him with both hands. Regretfully, Long Chen had no interest in it. However, by saying this, Long Chen made the experts following Yi Lingxian feel much more comfortable. Yi Lingxian had her loyal followers, and this clear expression of his attitude assuaged their worries. Who would dare to make trouble for you now? laughed Yi Lingxian. Even the outer branches of the divine families were afraid of him. I don't know. People just don't like me. Long Chen shrugged. Yi Lingxian said, Well, so many of my people have been drawn over by you. If you let my people starve, I might stop liking you. Come, come. I might not have much else, but I have wine and meat aplenty. I have many meat and wine friends, so I naturally prepared extra. Long Chen smiled. The construction this time was vast. Currently, only the first line of defense had been completed. Xia Chen was planning on setting up nine of those lines of defense, each more complicated than the last. Based on Xia Chen's estimates, there wouldn't have been enough manpower in the end and the Dragonblood Warriors would have been necessary to set things up. But with so many people, as long as they were used properly, there would be no need for the Dragonblood Warriors to lift a finger. Are you saying I'm a wine and meat friend as well? Asked Yi Lingxian, acting angry. I wouldn't dare, cried Long Chen hastily. Yi Lingxian rolled her eyes and had the disciples do what they wished. The disciples rolled up their sleeves and got to work. After all, they were disciples from the Martial Heaven Alliance, and they needed her go-ahead. It had to be clear who was the boss. The work that Guo Ran arranged for them to do was very easy. There was no skill required. It simply took time. With so many people, they rapidly progressed. Xia Chen oversaw things and would promptly fix any mistakes. All the surrounding land was quickly transformed into a giant labyrinth. When the labyrinth was complete, Xia Chen took charge setting up his formations. After that, the labyrinth had to be filled in with earth again, requiring the earth cultivators to take action once more and compress the earth. After that, the second formation was set up. New formation lines were dug up, but not as deep as before. It was another labyrinth, but a different one and more complicated. They worked during the day and drank during the night. These few days were quite ordinary, but they were also content. On the third day, a new group from the outer branches of the divine families came. A young man announced, Long Chen, you are breaking the rules. The heavenly divine writ clearly stated that the Dragonblood Legion must defend on their own for three days. Right now, you are using other people. This young man might be acting calm, but his trembling voice sold him out. It was clear he was afraid. The old fellows of the outer branches didn't dare to face Long Chen, so they had sent a scapegoat. This young man's cultivation base was only at the midlife star realm and was weak like he was a scholar. Any random person here was capable of taking his life. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, they're being forced. Please don't make things hard on them, said Li Jing. She felt sympathy for these people. Long Chen nodded to indicate she could be at ease. Looking at these people, he said, since you're just passing on other people's words, I won't make things hard on you. Remember my words and send them back to those idiots. First, I agreed with Elder Long to block the blood race for three days. That starts when the battle starts. Second, even if I'm using other people, you aren't qualified to criticize me because I bought them. The meat I took out is the meat of precious ancient magical beasts. Something comparable to rare medicines. It is capable of strengthening the body. I won't even mention the wine from the wine god palace of which money cannot buy a single drop. 
being able to buy labor with money is my own financial power, understand? Lastly, go tell those old fools that if they try to make things harder on me again, I'll slap them in the face. I'm in a good mood today, but you know, men always have a few days in a month when they aren't in a good mood. Be wary of those days when my mood isn't so good. Remember, yes, we'll remember. Those disciples hastily left to report this. After that, the outer branches didn't dare to make a sound. Time passed day by day. The sovereign seal was growing dimmer and dimmer. Three days before the time that sovereign Moli had mentioned, the nine formations were complete. Shia Chen formed hand seals, causing pillars of light to shine out of the ground, piercing the clouds. Chapter 2237 Grand Formation Complete Light Filled the Land and lines of light crossed in an incomprehensible manner to anyone but Shia Chen. Many thanks for your help, brothers. It's time to activate the formation, so to avoid any injuries, I'd ask you all to back up as much as possible. Shia Chen's voice rang out. The light soaring out of the ground suddenly exploded, forming a giant barrier that covered this area. Everyone retreated. Although it was common for formations to cause some powerful fluctuations when first activated, the vast pressure was suffocating. With the light, it was impossible to see what was happening inside. Even the dragon blood warriors were standing outside the formation, calmly watching. At the core of the formation, only Long Chen, Guo Ran, and Xia Chen remained. Guo Ran was inserting countless black arrows into the pillars of light, while Xia Chen was fiddling with a second formation disc which he sent underground. Everything before this was just laying the foundation. Now they were truly setting up the formation, and what they were doing were the core secrets that outsiders could not be permitted to see. The formation discs Xia Chen was setting up were the sun discs. There could be multiple sun discs but only one mother disc by using multiple sun discs at once. It could allow the formation to go through thousands of variations. As Xia Chen was setting things up, he smiled. Boss, following you was definitely the best choice of my life. This feeling of spending money is truly luxurious by following Long Chen. Xia Chen had plenty of resources to work with. The formations that he had dreamed of but lacked the money to create were now becoming reality. Without Long Chen's support, he would have been a bound dragon, only able to thrash in the mud without achieving his true potential. The reason he could create formations like this was thanks to Long Chen. The money is being spent well, so it's worth it. It's not just luxurious, but it also keeps us alive. Be careful. Quite a few people are definitely keeping an eye on us. This formation's secrets must not only be kept from them, but we have to be able to slip away with those secrets even after the formation ends. We're not exposing our own blood, sweat, and tears for others, said Long Chen. Long Chen didn't want Xia Chen's masterpiece to be secretly learned by others to be used against them. Don't worry. Boss, I've already modified these formation discs. Once their energy is used up, they'll automatically self-destruct and leave nothing useful behind. Guaranteed Xia Chen. Boss, let's really shock those idiots this time I hear with the slightest distraction from talking. A tiny arrow touched the skin on Guo Ran's arm. Without the slightest hesitation, he cut off his own arm. Even as the arm landed on the ground, it instantly turned black before rotting. You deserve it, said Long Chen without the slightest sympathy. The poison on these arrows came from the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit. At the start, Guo Ran had been unwilling to waste his best materials on these arrows, only to find that in just a few hours, the arrows themselves began to rot. After that, he had had no choice but to use the highest level of divine materials to create the arrowheads. He was unwilling to modify the entire arrow though but just this was enough to save money without reducing their power. The arrowheads were special, with six barbs at the end and an incredibly sharp tip. Guo Ran wore special gloves to handle the poison, but they didn't cover his whole hands. As a result, the slightest touch resulted in it breaking his skin. Since he wasn't in his battle state, he didn't have the slightest ability to suppress this poison and could only cut off his arm. Damn, how many times will this repeat? Boss. Just what poison is this? Guo Ran circulated his heavenly Tao energy, and his arm regrew, but the sweat on his forehead remained. He had suffered like this multiple times, 
requiring him to cut off chunks of his flesh. The poison was just too crazy. If I didn't have a few trump cards, how could I dare to carry out such a huge transaction? You just have to be careful. If you end up touching this poison with your face, then even if you don't die, you'll lose a few layers of skin, warned Long Chen. Only a nether passage expert could possibly endure this poison, but even they would only be able to endure for a while. This poison was something Long Chen had concocted from several different poisons, and although it wasn't on the same level as the giant pill he had refined, a life star expert would definitely die from it. Without this little bit of power, Long Chen wouldn't allow the dragon blood warriors to face the blood race. Something unexpected could always happen, and he didn't want to see huge casualties. Guo Ran then decided to summon his armor before continuing. Although it was inconvenient, it was better to be safe. Since they had received help from the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples, they finished the work ahead of schedule. They had time. Guo Ran and Xia Chen spent a whole day before finishing the formation. They did various tests to confirm that everything was as expected before releasing the barrier. When the barrier was released, Long Chen noticed that the experts from the other powers had arrived. They were standing in their own regions, watching from a distance. He saw people from Pill Valley, the ancient races, the Xuan beasts, the ancient family alliance, and more. They had simply occupied their own spots, some even looking like they were here to watch a show. They had tea and refreshments. Boss, do you want to use the formation to capture them all? If we do it now, I'm 70% confident, whispered Xia Chen. These people were hateful. They were like watching a monkey show when Long Chen and the others were preparing to risk their lives. It was clearly intentional. Not a bad idea. I really am tempted. To tell the truth, Long Chen also had this urge. Just as he was considering whether he should do this or not. Hu Jin Ying walked over. Long Chen, what's with that look in your eyes? Do you want to consume them? Hu Jin Ying smiled. Hu Jin Ying had seen Long Chen's sharp gaze locked onto Yu Ziaoyan and the others. She was teasing, but she didn't realize that Long Chen really was thinking about it. Alliance head, you must be joking. How could I think that? Long Chen shook his head, dispelling Xia Chen's suggestion, not realizing that. Hu Jin Ying looked around. Seeing the formation was complete, she asked, Are you confident it should be no problem? If you can't hold, don't force it. The reward isn't important. Don't get hot-headed because of some people's malicious words, warned Ku Jin Ying. She knew that Long Chen was smart, and Li Xiangxuan even said that Long Chen was more intelligent than him. But when he was angry, his intelligence instantly became zero. He could do any stupid thing. No matter how outstanding Long Chen became, in Ku Jin Ying's eyes, he and Yi Lingxian would always be children she had to worry about. Although Long Chen had said that if he couldn't hold, he would ask for help from the Martial Heaven Alliance, the Bidang family, and the Nangong family, she was still worried that he would do something stupid if others angered him. After knowing the old man for so long, she was even more worried. Don't worry, Long Chen's not a fool, grumbled the old man. Long Chen's not a fool but you, you raised him into one, said Ku Jin Ying irritably. Fine, I'm not going to talk. Curiously, the old man didn't argue, he just shook his head. It seemed that the two of them had reconciled, but Ku Jin Ying was still angry with him. In any case, don't act on anger, said Ku Jin Ying in the end before returning to the Martial Heaven Alliance's camp. As for the Dragonblood Legion, they stayed at the center of the formation. Watching the entrance to the Yun Yang world, Long Chen saw that Nangong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang had also arrived, but they didn't come over, most likely because they didn't want to disturb him. They just waved a greeting which Long Chen responded to. Time passed. Zi Yan and the elusive music Immortal Palace's people also arrived. She smiled and nodded to Long Chen. Long Chen's heart warmed. Zi Yan was no longer targeting him and was supporting him instead. That made him feel gratified. However, when he saw the icy pill fairy, his heart turned cold. Through his experience with the god seed in Dong Mingyu, he had found that the god seed was actually a slave seal. But it was even better because it made the slaves' thoughts change to the point that they were willing to give up their own life. Dong Mingyu's heart had Long Chen inside it. From that point onward, 
She no longer believed in her god, allowing her to maintain clarity even though the god's will invaded her mind. She was able to retain herself. The pill fairy though was different. She had been the god's ardent follower from birth. The god had always been a supreme existence in her heart. When she was branded with the god seed, her soul completely transformed. She was no longer the kind and pure Yu Kingsuan but the god's loyal servant. Long Chen looked at the pill fairy, and the pill fairy looked back at Long Chen. Their gazes intersected. Within the pill fairy's eyes, all Long Chen saw was a will to destroy. He didn't sense any of her old emotions. Long Chen couldn't help sighing inside. The pill fairy was different from Dong Mingyu. Her god seed had already invaded her soul. No one could save her. There would definitely be a battle to the death between him and the pill fairy. Long Chen also saw Kun Pengzi and Tian Zizi. Their auras had grown more frightening. Their gazes were sharp when they looked toward Long Chen. Killing intent raged in the space between them. Rumbling even rang out in space as just their killing intent was able to influence the heavenly deos. HMPH. Long Chen. Hopefully you don't die. If I don't personally cut off your head, it'll be my life's greatest regret, said Tian Zizi, his voice insidious. It contained a special sound wave that made it resound throughout heaven and earth. Chapter 2238 The Sovereign Seal Breaks Tian Zizi's voice resounded through the air. The dragon blood warrior's weapons instantly appeared in their hands. The righteous and corrupt paths had such deep hatred for each other that only blood could wipe it away. If you dare to repeat what you just said, I'll make sure you disappear from this world forever, said Long Chen. His words were concise and incredibly domineering. When looked at Tian Zizi, his gaze was like calm water. This fool, how does he get so easily provoked all the time? Bidang Rushuang cursed. Tian Zizi was clearly intent on disturbing Long Chen so that the latter wouldn't be able to focus when the battle started. This was just a test. Since Long Chen had gotten angry here, then once the Blood Race's army arrived, he could casually say some random stuff to infuriate Long Chen. Such a simple trick actually worked on Long Chen? Tian Zizi sneered. He was about to repeat himself when Zi Wentian suddenly pulled on him, most likely speaking spiritually with him. Tian Zizi stopped, but the disdain on his face grew, irritating them. Boss, should we eliminate them? Asked Xia Chen. It's useless. They're too far. If we attacked, they would just slip away. It's not worth the effort, said Long Chen. He could see that Tian Zizi had encountered some kind of fortune, causing his combat power to grow greatly from when they had previously fought. If Tian Zizi had repeated himself, then Long Chen would have gone to personally test him. If Tian Zizi had repeated such words of malice, Long Chen would have had enough reason to attack without the divine families being able to do anything. The feeling that Tian Zizi gave Long Chen was different from before. His aura had clearly transformed, becoming darker. However, Long Chen wasn't afraid. Tian Zizi looked away, sitting down and closing his eyes to meditate. Since Tian Zizi didn't speak again, Long Chen also wasn't in a position to attack. Long Chen looked over at the Zeman family's experts. Zeman Shiangsheng had come, but he hadn't said a word. He expressed neither hostility nor friendliness. At the rear, there was a disturbance when the Dongfang family's people arrived. Dongfang Yuiang had also come, and countless experts looked at him with odd expressions. Spiritual fluctuations began to weave through the air as they began to secretly discuss him. Although no one was able to tell what they were saying, it definitely revolved around how the sea demon race had attacked the Dongfang family and slapped Dongfang Yuiang in the face. Dongfang Yuiang had failed to harm Long Chen and was instead attacked. For such a thing to happen to the Dongfang family, it was both shocking and comical. Dongfang Yuiang didn't react at all, and his expression was as calm as if nothing had happened. He was still graceful and elegant. However, when Long Chen looked at him, Long Chen's pupils shrank. Dong Mingyu stood beside Long Chen and noticed. Big brother Long Chen, what is it? Dongfang Yuiang is strange. He's giving me a hair-raising feeling. He has most likely gained control of some kind of forbidden energy, said Long Chen heavily. That energy was something that gave Long Chen a familiar feeling, but he wasn't able to figure out what it was. Kun Pengzi had also arrived. 
and his eyes now held a world of lightning. He was like a lightning god, and lightning followed him, wrapping around his body. Long Chen found that all of them had made huge advancements after the last battle. They were like completely different people. All the resources of their respective factions must have been piled upon them. However, the most shocking of them all was Di Fang. He had not just awoken his spirit blood, but his manifestation was also vaguely visible behind him without him summoning it. The current Di Fang no longer had eyes full of rancor and hate. Instead, he was full of confidence. When he looked at Long Chen in particular, battle intent soared out of him. He sneered, Long Chen, put on a good show or I'll be disappointed. I'm greatly looking forward to our next battle even a widower can smile so happily? Di Fang, it seems that you really hope for your life to end, responded Long Chen. Most of the time, a man would have too many wives and concubines to be called a widower when one of them died. But some women were so powerful that their men could only have one wife. And when that woman died, her husband would be called a widower. Di Feng's followers, who were people from the Blood Emperor's family, glared at Long Chen, their eyes full of killing intent. Long Chen, don't be so arrogant. Once the time of the Heavenly Divine Writ passes, we will personally cut off your head as vengeance for our mighty Emperor's daughter, shouted one of the elders from the Shue family. Idiot, that woman was killed by me. Mo Nian, what does it have to do with Long Chen? If you want to find vengeance, you can come to find me. Just at that moment, Mo Nian's figure appeared, a bow on his back. Mo Nian came all alone, but for some reason, his bow was no longer blazing with divine light. However, its aura had become even more frightening. You're both accomplices in the death of Shu Aluacha. I will personally cut off your heads to appease her noble spirit, said Di Feng coldly. Up to you. It's meaningless to say such things now. You know what you've done to my Mo family. So adding some more enmity into the mix doesn't do anything. A blood debt must be paid in blood, said Mo Nian indifferently. Mo Nian walked over to the Martial Heaven Alliance's camp. He said his greetings to Ku Jinying and the old man before finding a place to watch. As time passed, more and more experts arrived. However, they all stood at a great distance, not daring to approach. The Sovereign Seal grew dimmer and dimmer, through the Sovereign Seal. It was possible to see countless figures gathering within a twisted space. All kinds of sharp cries came from the other side of the Sovereign Seal. It seemed that the other side was gathering and raising their morale. Those sharp cries made people tense up. The Blood Race's invasion would signify the start of the Dark Era. The Martial Heaven Continent was about to enter a long war for survival. Countless people would be fighting, and no one could guarantee that they would survive. The figures on the other side gradually grew clearer as the seal dimmed. When the endless army of the blood race became visible, everyone gasped. There was no way to estimate their numbers. They were simply endless, looking like fiends that had crawled out of hell, blood runes revolving around them. Although their form was similar to humans, their eyes were scarlet. Looking into their eyes, people smelled death. This is the blood race? They looked even more frightening than the devil race. Perhaps it was because they looked so similar to humans. In any case, there was a sense of unease. Their gaze was especially bloody. Separated by a flimsy barrier, they also looked into the martial heaven continent's side. They roared like hungry magical beasts demanding fresh meat. A wild light appeared in their eyes. The yin-yang world is no longer the same as when we entered. Back then, it was full of thrumming life. But now, it's dark and sinister. There's only death. Why? One of the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples spoke up, his voice shuddering. He had once fought alongside Long Chen in the Yun Yang world, but the current Yun Yang world was a barren land without the slightest blade of grass growing. The Yun Yang world is split into the Yun world and the Yang world. We entered when the Yang world was facing the Martial Heaven continent, but the Yun Yang world revolves, and now the Yun world is facing us. The Yun world is a land of death and also the favorite environment of the blood race. Everyone, you have to be careful. When the seal breaks, the Yun world's death chi will pour into the continent. But you don't need to worry. That will just be temporary. And by activating your domain, you will be able to block it. The opposing laws of the martial heaven continent will stifle the death chi, warned Kujinying. There are so many of them. 
and their auras are all so powerful. Will senior apprentice brother Long Chen and the others be all right? Asked one person worriedly. Be at ease. To say that it won't take the slightest effort from them would be bragging. But this shouldn't be anything to the Dragon Blood Legion. The main thing is what comes later, said Mo Nian. The Blood Races army roared, bearing their fangs at the Dragon Blood Legion, which was closest to them. As the commanding general of the Dragon Blood Legion, Guo Ran stood at the front. He arrogantly beckoned to the Blood Race and then patted his butt at them. The Blood Race's experts seemed to understand what Guo Ran was saying, and they charged forward. As a result, since the Sovereign Seal had not yet broken, thousands of them were instantly blown to bits. Ha ha ha. Guo Ran laughed arrogantly. If the Blood Race only had this level of intelligence, he wasn't worried. Boom. Just at that moment, the Sovereign Seal seemed to have used up its final bit of energy and exploded in a rain of light. Chapter 2239 Titanic Arm Blood Race When the Sovereign Seal exploded, everyone's hearts tightened, both friend and foe. Even their breathing became heavy. That was the blood race on the other side, the mortal enemy of the Martial Heaven continent. They wanted to annihilate everyone and everything on the continent. In front of such an enemy, no one could remain relaxed. Kill. The blood race's experts actually knew how to speak the human language, and they charged forward like a tide. Brothers, go ahead. Release your passion, shouted Guo Ran, waving his hand. The dragon blood warriors unsheathed their swords, rays of divine light tearing through the sky. They actually pounced on the charging blood race. What are they doing? After spending all that time setting up a grand formation, are they just going to fight like this? exclaimed one of the seniors. These seniors had assumed that Long Chen would use the grand formation to lock down this area and use absolute defense to stop the blood race's attack. However, the Dragon Blood Legion wasn't using their formation at all. Their warriors were simply charging out. Had they just been bored when they set up their formation? These enemies are only at the Life Star Realm and aren't worth it. To the Dragon Blood Legion, this is just a warm up, not a battle, said the old man lightly. The old man's words had barely left his lips when the Dragon Blood warriors began slaughtering the Blood Race's army. Sword images slashed through them. What terrifying attacks! Last time, the Dragon Blood Warriors had been protected by a formation and displayed a collective attack that had swept through their enemies. Now, though, everyone saw that even when the Dragon Blood Warriors were fighting individually, they were still extremely terrifying existences. Every one of them was incredibly powerful. Even in such an important battle, their expressions were completely calm. They really are elites, worthy of being called the Martial Heaven Continent's number one legion. The Dragon Blood Warriors were so powerful that the Blood Race's army was unable to even get close. Some of them tried to sneak attack the Dragon Blood Warriors, but they were killed in a heartbeat. The Dragon Blood Warriors' swords would just swing to the side or even behind them, slaying the sneak attackers. Such a thing didn't just require immense power, but also astonishing spiritual perception. They all possessed a strong sense of danger that allowed them to control the changes of the battlefield. Even surrounded by attacks, they could choose the best move in an instant. It sounded simple, but in reality, it was as difficult as ascending the heavens. This was an ability that could only be cultivated through experiencing countless battles, countless brushes against death. Thus, even though the dragon blood warriors were fighting individually, the blood race was rapidly cut down. With each attack, a mass of the blood race's experts died. The righteous experts who had come were completely dazzled by this scene. These were true experts. I heard that every member of the Dragon Blood Legion used to be an ordinary person, but under Long Chen's lead, they've reached their current height. Long Chen's not just a peerless genius, he's a miracle maker. The neutral faction's people were also swept up in various emotions. Without any backers, Long Chen had created a miracle like the Dragon Blood Legion, that was a heaven defying ability. Hill Valley, the Corrupt Path, the Xuan Beasts, and the others were afraid. The Dragon Blood Legion had grown up. If they kept growing, they would be a dangerous threat to their very existence. We cannot allow them to grow any further. A vicious light appeared in Yu Ziaoyan's eyes. But with the Divine Families keeping watch over here, he couldn't do anything. In the face of the tide of the Blood Race, 
the Dragonblood Warriors' swords created a rain of flesh and blood. However, their numbers were still insufficient. A few of their enemies managed to slip through the cracks. Long Chen, if you allow a single blood race expert to get by, you will have failed. Don't even think about getting the reward in that case, shouted one of the experts of the Divine Family's outer branches from up in the sky. They were overseeing the battle. Long Chen wasn't even interested enough to look at them. They were trying to apply pressure to him. Boom. A giant willow exploded out of the void, and countless willow branches appeared, piercing through the blood race experts that managed to get past the dragon blood warriors. Those blood race experts quickly withered upon being pierced by the willow branches. Lu Ruian directly sucked away their bloodline power. You said that the essence blood of those I kill goes to me. Can I count on that? Lu Ruian's voice rang out in Long Chen's mind. Yes, no one will fight over it with you. You'll get however much you kill. Long Chen helplessly smiled. Even now, Lu Ruian was wary of him as if he would break his word. For Lu Ruian to be able to refine her own immemorial essence blood from the blood race was a bit surprising to Long Chen. It seemed that her origins were far from simple. After hearing Long Chen's words, Lu Ruian's body grew until the entire entrance was bottled up. No one could get through. Lu Ruian's branches were sharp and endless. The blood race's experts were pierced through and had their essence blood sucked away. Ruian needs to accumulate a large amount of essence blood to break through her current bottleneck. She started gathering it even in the last battle Chu Yao stealthily sent a message to Long Chen. Why didn't she tell me? I could have thought of something for her. Long Chen was surprised. Dummy. Do you not know her temper? She wouldn't ask for help even if she was dying. Let alone asking for help from you. Rebuked Chu Yao. Lu Ruian was stubborn and cold. Her iciness was similar to Yi's Hikyu, but Yi's Hikyu was warm inside. Meanwhile, Lu Ruian was cold inside and out. Other than Chu Yao, she rarely spoke to anyone. Furthermore, Lu Ruian still disliked Long Chen for having suppressed her with the black soil, that had always been viewed as a humiliation to her. Even now that they were one family, she was still unable to forgive him. She mostly ignored Long Chen. So for her to ask him for help was impossible. That was why Chu Yao secretly mentioned this to Long Chen to avoid him feeling a grudge. As if Lu Ruian was unwilling to share the immemorial essence blood with everyone else. In truth, as the dragon blood warriors fought, the formation beneath their feet was already active. According to Elder Long, this formation would gather the blood race's essence blood as it rained down from the sky. It could later be refined into immemorial essence blood. However, that was just the start. The blood race's essence blood was not the same as the human race's essence blood. To merge them required several steps. This essence blood would belong to the dragon blood legion, but the ones that Lu Ruian killed would of their essence blood go to her. Chu Yao even brought up that Lu Ruian wanted to advance to make sure that Long Chen didn't blame her for being selfish. Long Chen simply smiled and shook his head. Lu Ruian was unyielding. If she had said this earlier, he would have long since brought her to the wild world to start her preparations. Long Chen told Chu Yao that this wasn't a big deal. They were entering the dark era, so slaughter would be present at all times. Lu Ruian would have plenty of blood to gather. Long Chen, Chu Yao, Meng Qi, Tang Wanur, Yi's Hikyu, and the others were all just watching from the rear alongside the healing warriors. Gu Yang, Yu Zifeng, Li Qi and Song Mingyuan weren't fighting either. Currently, there was no need for them to partake in the battle. Li Jing had been worried, because according to the outer branches of the Divine Family, she was to follow the Dragonblood Legion, and if they died, she would die too. That was one reason she had been so nervous when she came. Seeing that Long Chen didn't even need to fight, that just the Dragonblood Warriors and Lu Ruian could stop the blood race, her tense heart relaxed. She felt much safer. The blood race's army grew stronger over time. Eventually, some larger ones appeared. Their arms incredibly thick. Thicker than even their legs. Blood chains wrapped around their arms. And they held blood-colored sabers several meters long. They seemed to be a physically powerful sub-race amongst the blood race. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. This is the titanic arm blood race. Their physical power is limitless and they are the true warriors of their army. In comparison, 
the other ordinary experts of the blood race are just ants. You have to warn the others to be careful, said Li Jing. Long Chen shook his head. If they're only on that level, then there's no need. One of the titanic arm blood experts charged forward, his thick saber slashing down. The immense power brought with it a screeching whistling sound. Boom. That titanic arm blood expert was sent flying back by one of the dragon blood warriors. It crashed heavily into the ones behind it, causing them to cough up blood. The titanic arm blood expert seemed to have been angered, and a bloody light appeared in its eyes. It once more attacked. Dragon blood battle armor. That dragon blood warrior let out a shout, and blood colored scales covered his body. His sword hacked down like a bolt of lightning. Sword Chi flashed, and that titanic arm blood expert, along with its saber, turned to dust. Heavens, Li Jing covered her mouth, not daring to believe what she was seeing. The incredibly powerful titanic arm blood race could still have its experts killed in one blow by a dragon blood warrior. Chapter 2240 Earthen Net covers the sky. The arrival of the titanic arm blood race allowed the dragon blood warriors to really start fighting. As more of them appeared, the dragon blood warriors summoned their dragon blood battle armor, starting the real battle. Even though there were now countless titanic arm blood experts, the dragon blood warriors were still unfazed. Their swords danced, tearing through their enemies. In this life, all I want is to be able to match a dragon blood warrior. Then I could die without regrets, sighed one of the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples. Although they viewed Long Chen as an idol, a target that encouraged them, that target was just too far, so far that it felt imaginary. Now they felt like just being able to match a dragon blood warrior was a huge wish. The Dragon Blood Warriors have fought with senior apprentice brother Long Chen through countless brushes against death to become true experts. While we're like flowers that grew up in a greenhouse, we still have a long path to walk, responded someone else. Actually, we can also imitate senior apprentice brother Long Chen. What are you going to imitate? Do you not want your life any longer? An elder scolded that last disciple. If everyone imitated Long Chen. Then just how many thorns would appear in the Martial Heaven Alliance? Managing these disciples was already very difficult. Go too light and they wouldn't listen. Go too hard and they would get resentful. With how many people there were in the Martial Heaven Alliance, it was even harder to oversee them. Although Yi Lingxin was able to suppress them, when she wasn't present, those fellows were very stubborn, with quite a few arguments springing up between them. If they were to imitate Long Chen, wouldn't the Martial Heaven Alliance be torn apart by them? Riches lie within danger. Isn't senior apprentice brother Long Chen the best example said that disciple, unconvinced. Don't you need to look at your own conditions? Long Chen has always been an apex expert at every realm. And yet, do you know how many times he has brushed past the god of death? How many times has he narrowly escaped from death? Even an expert on his level barely scrapes by like someone walking across a thin layer of ice over a bottomless abyss. And now you want to be able to dance on the tip of a blade easily like he does? Well, let me tell you, any kind of skill has hardships behind it. You see his light without seeing the pain behind it. You think he's just brainlessly charging forward and being unstoppable? He's a fake idiot, while you're the real idiots. Without Long Chen's power, if you try to copy his temper, you'll all die miserably said the elder. What he wanted to say was that the only person who could court death every day and still live happily, from ancient times to now, was Long Chen. If anyone imitated him, they definitely wouldn't live longer than three days. However, some things couldn't be said directly. If he said that, these young and ambitious fellows really might try it. Yi Lingxian glanced at the disciples and saw their expressions of displeasure. She said, don't panic. The Dark Era's curtains have been pulled open by this battle, so you don't need to worry about not having a chance to temper yourselves. I feel like true experts shouldn't be competing for number one, but protecting their homes and families and even all lives. If you die due to a competitive streak, others will only look at you with disdain. But if you died protecting the Martial Heaven continent, you would be a hero, and the entire world will remember your name. Think about the five sovereigns. Which one of them relied on fighting people from the same side to get famous? Without exception, their fame grew due to suppressing the fiends from the other side. 
Even though tens of thousands of years have passed, their marks still remain. True heroes will only reveal their true light at such a time. The main character of this world has yet to be revealed. Yi Lingxian's words were gentle and also very reasonable, instantly placating these disciples. Her meaning was clear. A sovereign had yet to appear in this era. In the future, who would float to the top and who would sink to the bottom was still unknown. In other words, as long as a sovereign had yet to appear, then any one of them could become the sovereign. As long as they weren't ridiculously arrogant or unduly humble, anyone had a chance. Hu Jinying smiled upon seeing Yi Lingxian suppress the dissatisfaction of these disciples with just a few words. She whispered to the old man, I'm glad my vision wasn't blind with old age before finding a good apprentice. She's much better at handling things than me. The old man nodded. Yes, the you from back then would have directly said, You think you're badass? If you don't like it, you can challenge me and see if you can take the alliance head position. A few of the surrounding elders couldn't hold back a chuckle, before feeling a chill as Ku Jinying's murderous gaze fell on them. They hastily shut their mouths and acted like they hadn't heard anything. Do you want to die? Ku Jinying glared at the old man. He had actually exposed this awkward incident of her past in front of so many people. The main thing though was that she had truly said it, and more than once at that. These old fellows had heard her say it too, which was why they couldn't help laughing. Can I not tell the truth? The old man acted like he hadn't done anything wrong. Hu Jinying could only glare. She didn't want to get crabby with the old man's stubbornness here, or she would be laughed at. Although she was admiring Yi Lingxian and praising her, there was also a kind of recognition of her own vision in picking her out. Regretfully, the old man didn't understand that. Rather than praising Ku Jinying, he took a completely different view and didn't even know where he was wrong. In Ku Jinying's eyes, the old man was stubborn and insensitive. If he had just a tenth of Long Chen's brains, he wouldn't draw her into fights every day. The Dragonblood warriors have taken out their manifestations. They're fighting at full power now, said the old man suddenly. Hu Jinying immediately looked over to see that the Titanic arm blood experts had grown more numerous, and they were no longer all within the Life Star realm. Some Nether Passage realm experts had appeared in their midst. The pressure on the Dragonblood warriors instantly jumped when Nether Passage realm blood race experts appeared. They had no choice but to summon their manifestations. These blood race experts are stronger physically than their human counterparts, but their divine abilities and magical arts are rough. Even before unleashing any big attacks, their auras fluctuate, making the attacks easy to dodge. Their true combat power is actually inferior to the human race, said one elder. However, their numbers were too great. There was an endless tide of them. They also knew their own weaknesses and were using numbers to make up for them. That's precisely why they want to attack us. They want our spirit roots to make up for their innate weaknesses. That's what makes them the most frightening, said Ku Jinying. The current blood race wasn't too powerful. What would be powerful was a blood race that had managed to charge onto the continent and turn the human race into tools for upgrading themselves. The blood race's howls filled the air, through the willow branches. The spectators could only get glimpses of the Dragonblood Warriors. Mostly they only managed to see the blood race. This sight made them turn pale. In a one against one, they weren't afraid of the blood race. Even if it was one against ten, they wouldn't be afraid. But the blood race's army could not be counted with numbers. They could only be described as endless. In front of such a terrifying army, no matter how much combat experience you had, you would still drown. When these people thought about themselves, they wondered how long they would be able to last. One breath? Two breaths? Or would they be annihilated in an instant? The fight between the Dragonblood Legion and the various powers of the continent had been intense enough, having involved millions of experts. However, in comparison to the endless blood race, they were like a streamlet compared to a sea. Now people understood what the Dark Era represented. In front of this endless army, it was impossible to see any hope. Right now, they were just facing one army from one other world. This was just the yin-yang world, and there were more connections to other worlds where the seals had yet to break. If they all broke at the same time, how would the martial heaven continent stop them? As the blood race's army charged out, 
they crashed against Lu Ruyan's defenses. Her branches were like arrows, tearing them apart. Even those in the Nether Passage realm were easily pierced. Lu Ruyan's branches were both tough and flexible. It was difficult for anything to cut them. No matter how the blood race tried, they were unable to break her defenses. Lu Ruyan's giant body had roots in the ground and was like a giant mountain. Blood mist exploded as her branches whipped through the air. It was a miserable sight. The blood race had only been attacking for an incense stick's worth of time. But Lu Ruyan had killed a million of them. How does Long Chen have so many monsters under his command? That Lu Ruyan is so powerful. Why would she be willing to be Long Chen's subordinate? The rest haven't even taken action. And they're all monsters. Perhaps only a monster amongst monsters like Long Chen can make them all follow him. Lu Ruyan's viciousness shook everyone. But then they also saw the others standing calmly with Long Chen. A monstrous expert like Lu Ruyan was someone that any sect would be willing to pay any price to pull in. Such a figure was as rare as a phoenix feather or a unicorn horn. However, any random person pulled from Long Chen's side was such a monster. Furthermore, they were all completely loyal to him, and it was impossible to pull them to another side. As more and more of the blood race's experts appeared, the pressure on the battlefield grew. Lu Ruyan's barrier gradually began to shake and show signs of breaking. Everyone's hearts clenched. Many people had made preparations to join in if the Dragonblood Legion failed. They couldn't allow a single blood race expert to charge onto the continent. Endless falling wood. Earth covers the heavens. Lu Ruyan let out a cry. And forming hand seals. The earth exploded. Roots covered in earth rose into the sky.